Welcome to Conan Exiles, Age of Sorcery, Chapter 3. Brrr, I don't know if you can hear me bang the desk. It's very exciting. I'm very excited. I haven't started a new playthrough on Exiled Lands for six months, chat, I realised. <sighs> yeah, sad times. This is my home. I love this map. Uh, I thought, because they'd made so many changes recently, including the f a full journey system overhaul, uh, actually I need to make sure I have my journey steps like turned on uh, on my screen or switched on the screen or whatever. Uh, because they've changed a bunch of things in the game, I was like, this is time for a good like full playthrough. Uh, we do have a sip to playthrough kind of going at the moment. Um, I am planning to continue that concurrently. Uh, I would say we have about maybe four episodes left of that playthrough, so we'll, you know, we'll fit that in basically. But yes, this is going to be, I guess, the new focus. Oh, we have a bunch of things to do. We've got journey, journey steps now, uh, golem shaping. There's a new nighttime mode, so I have changed nighttime to full length. I may change it back. <laughs> Night mode. Conan Exile sounds terrible, doesn't it? Um, and then there's a new dungeon as well, so I'm very excited. Lots of things to do. I think the headhunting event is still on, by by the sounds of it. Um, but yes, I think it's kind of changed a bit. I think maybe it's rotated a little bit. Um, and I think that's ending in chapter three, as I understand it. Um, if anybody wants to join our like Conan Exile server. Uh, join our Discord, there's a link in the chat to the Discord, go to the pinned messages in the Conan Exiles channel, look at the uh, joining instructions, just join there. Oh, let's breathe. Um, the server is modded the same as my game, if you do exclamation mark mods Conan you'll see them, but it's basically uh, off the top of my head, Hossav's UI mod, uh, immersive armour, um, barbarian barber, improved quality of life, and there is Pippi on the server as well. I love the start of this game. Me too, Murph. Me too. Headhunter is still going on. Haven't checked today. I believe Headhunter is... Um, you can join the server. Yes, of course you can. Thank you, Starbird. Hello, lovely. Um, yes, I think I mentioned all of the mods. But yeah, those mods are on our server as well. We did have a couple of restarts yesterday because a couple of the modders were... Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's in the, it's in London. You'll just have slightly higher ping, Murph. We've got, we've got a bunch of Americans in our community. You know what I mean? There's nothing I can do about it. I love you all. I love you all. <laughs> I love you all. You're like, why are you being mean to us? <laughs> why so mean to us? It's just American. And there's Canadians as well. He said he's an American, Nefanor. There's Canadians as well. About 4% of my my community is Canadian, approximately. <laughs> is Anna. Excuse me. You know I love my Canadians. You know I do. I always mention you. Oot the boot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited everyone was with people other humans Murph <laughs> Ali is also Canadian you see I know we have Canadians technically Canada is North America of course it is absolutely there you go thank you stupid so there never know <laughs> oh gosh oh. anyway um where are we get where are we up to with this so I have gone through the stages of creating my character. I wasn't going to. I was going to do it on stream, but on this uh, improved quality of life mod, which is why the HUD looks slightly different right now, when you choose the character face... Um, okay, so when you load into the game, normally you choose um, your religion, you choose your race, and then when you click on the race thing, your face will change slightly. And there's like, say, a few options for the face. It doesn't happen with the Improved Quality of Life mod. Um, you have to make sure that if you want this face, which is what I always use, I don't know if it's exactly the same, actually. But um, <laughs> it has to be the face that comes up. Otherwise, there's lots of other faces. Oh, actually, is that my, is that my, that is my usual face, isn't it? That's the usual face. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, yeah, you have. it has to come up as Nordheimer, basically. Do we prefer that or do we prefer that? She's kind of a fox, isn't she? Oh, gosh. Oh, I don't know. Well, we can always change our mind, but that is our, that is our usual face, isn't it? Um, okay, so it has to come up as Nordheimer because when you click this in the Improved Quality of Life mod, some of you will not care about this. Some of you, this is very important. Uh, so I realise I'll try and keep it moving. 
Uh, but yeah, it has to come up with no timer first to have those faces. Otherwise, it gives you different, like, random, like, some of them are kind of horrific faces. So I was sat here before, because it comes up as male and you can switch to female. Once you switch gender, it will reset all of your, like, programmed stuff with the improved quality of life mod. Oh, gosh. Um, so, yeah, you have to get it on, you have to, like, switch between male and female to reset it and then wait for it to come up as no timer as the race. This is my, this is my, like, um, what I've just been doing just before the stream. I got in color this morning and got a happy surprise for my horse. Yes, horses have, have good HP again. Praise the gods, absolutely. I'm so glad. Um, not sure why they call it race when everyone is human, it's just cultural differences. Sure, that's probably a conversation for another day, but yeah. Character creation is such an important part of any game. It is, definitely. And, you know, you get kind of attached to the way your character looks, don't you? Um, so, yes, I was sitting here switching. It took me about 20, because it started on the right. It started on no timer, which is what I always choose. And I was like, switching between them. Okay, some of you are like, get on with it. I'll get on with it. Anyway, um, without changing anything, I will show you briefly, because this is what it will look like with the improved quality of life mod your options. You'll change your face, you change your face colour. I've gone to with like number four because she's been hanging on out in the desert for a while. Um, this is, these are all the hairstyles uh, from Barbarian Barber. There are so many and they are beautiful, some of them. Some of them are a bit weird, you know what I mean? Let's move on. <laughs> but they're stunning and you can, you know, change them as many times as you want by doing shift and M in game. Absolutely love it. Sticking with this one because I think it's prissy and this is what we used on Sipta. Um, I like my character look kind of the sim like the same generally. This is the hair colour that we're going for. This kind of like dirty blonde colour. I think that's what I usually go for, yeah. It's hard to tell because it looks slightly different. It also looks a bit different on different maps as well. Your face is a little bit different and the hair is a little bit different. I don't know if you've noticed that. Uh, I've gone for any eyebrow that just fits her face. Kind of a brownish colour. Um, I don't, do I normally do black eyeshadow? Or this one. I think I usually do this one. And I think I normally do, like, that eyeshadow. I'm pretty sure. We'll change it if I get bored or whatever. Um, lips, if you want the colour to turn up, you have to press 1. And I've been going with this gothic kind of, like, foxy foxy look for my character. And then eyes, we do, like, a steely, steely kind of bluish kind of colour. Um, head, I didn't change anything on head. I always make the ears as small as possible because sometimes they have randomly giant ears. Uh, I didn't change the eyes, didn't change the nose. These things are kind of helpful though. If you find like a dancer in the world and you're like, she's really nice, but I just her nose is a bit big. You can make the nostrils a bit smaller and stuff like that. But I didn't need to do that because she's already perfect. Um, body sliders, you can adjust the height obviously. And this is like, um, in case anyone's new to the game, uh, this will make you more or less athletic. I liked her to look kind of like, you know, I don't want it to look really sinewy. Like, this is at 0 0.17. Like, I don't want that look. You know what I mean? Youth youthful and healthy is kind of what we're going for here, really. There you go. Um, torso. I don't think I did anything about torso at all. I think I probably increased the chest size. I would suggest if you're going to change this section of the body, that use the chest size slider instead of the boob slider. I just think it's a bit more like it does weird things otherwise otherwise it didn't change anything here okay oh um so that's torso arms i made the shoulders slightly bigger just slightly i can't see how much i have done here because she's hanging on a cross um <laughs> so yes um so i just made the uh, uh the shoulders slightly bigger and then the lower body is kind of the important part really um Believe it or not, she has had her thigh size bigger than natural than in the game, just slightly. I think the secret is to be like, what's the word? Subtle about it. Slightly more hip width, slightly more hip depth. That's like makes the butt stick out more. This bit's a bit wider. And then I just always increase the butt sag a little bit. I don't know what, how much it makes a difference. I think it just lowers this section. I don't know. I don't know. And then you can change certain depending on whether it's a male or female sexual characteristics i didn't change this here because it looks wait i will show you it does weird things it's not very good so <laughs> i 
if I suggest you keep that on one and you just adjust the chest size anyway but you can adjust a bunch of things here should you want to anyway so this is our finished character uh, I should mention if you need your own server at the moment Nitrado currently have a 25% off uh, promo code it's written in there 25 off uh, use my link if you want to support the channel otherwise just use the code whatever you want to do and I think that's all of the like what's the word I don't know I think we're ready to go I have so many extra faces and hairstyles other options yeah there is um there is a mod that gives you like more faces I might do that um oh, character creation are we doing on nationality would be better for sure off topic but remember how you were saying last week you hoped Wellheim fishing was more like Minecraft with the extra drops <gasps> turns out it's like that I got sap you got sap. Sophie's like screaming. And soft tissue? Stop it, wolf. You are getting me excited. Seriously? What currently now already? That is crazy. I need to do that. I need to get into fishing then. Oh that's awesome. I want like an incentive. There needs to be a bit of gacha in there. <laughs> Twelve thousand HP on your horse. That's amazing. That's so good. I'm so glad they've done that. I, I mean, I would have just been happy with 5,000 HP, but yes. Um, the horse is... Like, when your horse dies and your horse has got all your stuff on it, it's just very sad, you know? That means we can take it into dungeons again. Um, because there's so much to loot. Um, I promise we'll move on from the screen. I'm just going to catch up with chat briefly. So many extra faces and hairstyles. I think my body game has over 200 hairstyles. It's almost too many. Yep, yep to spend a lot of time all right finish character creation oh spawn point oh, well desert <laughs> it's all the same there's no like modded spawn points here let's finish yes let's go during the year of the cobra oh yeah a prisoner captured by unknown means was transported into the exiled lands crucified and left to die for crimes that they may or may not have committed Definitely not. Death comes swiftly on black wings <gasps> until fate intervenes. Get away from me, bird. Save me, Conan. <laughs> Are you thirsty, dead woman? Yes. I will take coffee. Shall I cut you down from that corpse tree? We look really bad. <laughs> it might kill you. <laughs> you civilized women are soft. All right. Your lives are not nailed to your spine. Oh my god, look at the size of her thighs. <laughs> they always look a bit bigger on the cross. The good thing is you can change things anytime you want to. Where I come from, we kill our enemies in battle. We don't leave them in the desert to die like dogs. That's right. Civilized. So, you live again, dead woman. Looks like sand, doesn't it, that we're drinking? Oh, I'm so excited! This land does not love men. You are marked. And you cannot cross the ghost fence wearing that. <laughs> it might have been kinder to leave you on the cross. Live. Live. Yeah. <laughs> love. Burn with life. Slay and survive. We will meet again, dead woman. Just a little sandstorm. Nothing too serious. Yeah, let's.
Let's freaking go. Better those perk change group size we calculated. Journey step. Can you take your first steps. Right, let me just make sure that I have my journey steps showing on the screen. Uh, gameplay. Nameplates. Journey, journey, journey. Show journey steps. There we go. Investigate the smoke nearby. Oh, I love it, chat. If we've got like a... Um... Now, the only thing is you're supposed to click on this. I don't know why this isn't the first thing. Behold, bonded one. Behold, bonded the very one. boundaries of civilization. Beyond the passage of our highways lie the wild places of the world where untamed savages make endless war upon each other. You cannot pass into the endless wastes and slaves. Oh. Your bonding prevents it. Return. Follow the road. Any road. Oh. All roads lead to the city. Okay. So, normally, when you start the game, you try and get some journey steps in as quickly as possible. You'd click on the tablet, which gives you some... Does it give you journey step about information or whatever? And then you do, like, a punch and a kick. Um, you, like, roll, climb... And then you would get journey steps for those. Okay, so that's already a change. Also, this isn't usually here, which is very exciting. So I clicked to interact with this and pick up, picked up the food, the food, which eat that. And we drank water. So it gives you some food. Normally you have to go and cut, like collect that. Gather plant fiber. Um, press E to interact. Is it on here? Did I do the thing? E. What am I Eing on? Squirrel. Oh, I don't know what I clicked on. The game is quite framey right now, but I am streaming and recording. Okay. I don't know what we're supposed to do there. Gather, let's gather some plant fiber. Three plant fibers. I do like this. I think when you first start this game, I think generally throughout this game, um, you end up using the wiki a lot, so I think if it's helpful for new players who might not want to kind of go to a website to find stuff all the time, I still need to gather a bit more plant fibre. All right, there's some around here. My frames are really bad. They're just inconsistent. I don't know. I don't know why. What are my settings like? Ba bum bum. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -da -dum, bum. Oh, let's put my view distance on low. Okay. I might need to upgrade my PC chat at some point. I don't know what I'm supposed to click on here. Um, okay. Oh, look, I have this recipe. Okay. Let's craft clothing. Okay. All right. Let's get out of this area. I wonder if this area is just a bit framey. Um, so there's usually a rock that we get to. Um, I, I haven't spent attribute points. So I guess it's quite prescriptive about the order that you do things. Um, what do I want? So initially I'm going to use daggers. Um, so I'm not going to put points into it, but I'm not going to put points into agility. Um, because I feel like that's a waste. Um... I don't know what to do, really. Grit. Vitality. Strength. There we go. Journey step complete. Search for more survivors. Interesting. I assume there's nothing I can do with this. I do love that this has been changed. For so many of us who've, like, played this game a bajillion times. Let's pick up stones like we used to. And also gather some... I wonder if the amount of plant fibre you need to make your initial clothes is less. It feels like it. Um, is there? There's less than the water skin over here. What, you mean here? Or further on? I don't see what I'm, I can click on here. Da -da -da. Is the audio okay, chat? Do I sound weird? I mean, I mean, 
different. Is there anything here? It's saying E. This is one of the troubling things about this game sometimes. Um, is it'll say E and you've got absolutely no idea where the thing is. Um, multiple select, selectable different journeys. Uh, let's have a quick catch up. Check the journey steps before leaving the beginning area. All right, Aidlang. Welcome, welcome. Um, oh, sure, all right. Ah, oh, that's fine. I can allow that. That's no problem. Multiple selectable different journeys. I see. No eating bugs to start off my favourite part. Let's wait for some of my mods to update. Yeah. I think a lot of, like, um, servers tend to give it, like, 24, 48 hours before they... Like, they're just down for a couple of days uh, while they wait for the mods to update. It seems. Um, having to use the wiki all the time is a problem. Yeah, exactly. New journal helps. I travel with that as well. It's on a rock near smoke behind cage. Okay, I'll have a look. There's a letter. Um, sound seems good. All right, thank you, lovely. That's helpful. Um, behind the cage. Right. I might stop recording and use my VOD. Because... I don't know if that's why my PC is struggling so much with the game right now. Um, behind the cage is a water skin. Right, well, let's just kind of properly look everywhere. Um, can we press J for journal? Let's have a look. The Exile's Journey Survivor is what we're on at the moment. Aha, here it says, it says what you're up to. We get a reward of supply materials. Um, if we complete this journey, these journey steps. Exile Lands takes the weak and tests the strong. You must learn to survive these harsh lands before you can dominate them. Okay. Um, yeah. So we have to do these things, but we have to do them in order. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like you should be able to kind of skip some of them, you know. It sh certain things like picking up like stones and um, branches and things, I don't know. So we're supposed to be searching for more survivors here. Um, there's there's nothing here, as far as I can see. I have I have like spent some time around this this area here, even though it says to click it. Uh, I should say I've stopped my recording and my frames are still like turds right now. Um, is there something to click on? Press E. Where, friend? Let's go into first person. E e e e e. Where? Bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. No, I'm giving up, chat. I just I like seriously. I don't know where I'm supposed to click. Um, hope they change into a lockout for it. Yeah. Um, sorry, many things I was looking at at that point. Do you remember a letter and a water skin somewhere there? So generally, there's um, there's a letter and a water skin a bit further on. So let's kind of keep going. Um, search for more survivors. Now, normally you run along the road. Um, I manage my stamina. Can I eat a bug? Will I get special prizes? Hello, Ted Wallet. Is that here should be the note? Gods curse this sandstorm. We were forced to take refuge before the wind scoured the skin from our faces. There you go. Sit there is something in the storm. Beasts. We hear the skittering of their paws outside the ruins, and their howls mingled with the screaming winds. The men are scared. I've put them to work crafting rudimentary weapons and okay. torches from Let's the loose stones, stones and plants that dot this place. I've yet to meet a beast that like fire, okay. or the bite of the axe. So there should be a, like um, a stone with a water skin on it, usually, um, before you leave like the starting area. See if we can find that. I don't know if it's slightly further on. We're supposed to pick up branches now. Okay, gained a level. Craft a stone pick. We can do that. Stone pick. Craft. The frames are awful. Um, it's not that the frames are bad. It's just that it's very inconsistent. I don't know what's happening. Was it the body next to the cart? Yes, the corpse. 
Yeah, we did. Um, we did click on that. You mean? The... Okay, let's go and have a look. By the way, if you want XP, there's a bunch of spawns along this like section here. There's like one here, one here, one where we are, one there, one there. If you go to all of them, you'll discover points on the map. And you'll get XP for it, uh, I believe. Well, you used to be able to. Ba -da -dum -bum, ba -da -dum. I hope my game starts behaving itself. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if there's something wrong with my PC. Um, or if it's just there's some problem with performance at the moment. But it was fine before. Um, I did update my OBS. Uh, I didn't update it. I downgraded my OBS from 29. Because we were having some recording issues. Um, hello, bird. Yeah, we did click on the dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bodies, dead bodies do count as survivors. Yep. We've clicked on these. Harvest stone with your pick. Okay. Harvest stone with your stone pick. Ba -da -dum. Ba -bum -bum. What is going on with my computer? Let me like close Chrome. And anything else. Uh, so um, I did pre-install the Diablo 4 beta. Um, okay. So maybe that will help. I did inst I installed it and I realised how big it was. I think this might help. Is my PC doing slightly left? Yeah. It was uninstalling it again because it was too big and I need to like work out some space. I don't know. Slightly better. Let's gather some stone. All right. Harvest stone process one of ten. Okay. All right, all right. Let's do it. So you've got to break ten full stones. I mean, some people will really like the structure of this. Guiding you through. I guess it's quite prescriptive, but I suppose you could turn it off. But there are rewards that you might not want to miss. We're going to follow everything. I want to really see how this works. Um, you know? You can hit the tiny rocks instead of picking them up. I know, lovely. Do you know I have 6,000 hours in this game? Um, Archer, thank you for the follow. Oh, I see what you mean, the corpse counts as a survivor, yeah. I think it's search for survivors, and then in, that, in doing that, you find people who didn't survive, question mark? I don't know. Uh, craft a stone weapon. All right, so I want to learn how to make daggers because they're my favourite. I don't know if I have the right level yet. I'm level 5. Oh, we're thirsty. Skirmisher. Give it. Love it. Okay, we've learnt how to make the stone daggers. Let's craft one. It'll auto craft the twine. Uh, I want to make a second pair. I need more twine. I'll have to pick up a bit more. Okay. I do have crafting on super fast. <gasps> Follow the road out of the desert. The road needs further north. It's time to leave the scorching heat of the desert behind. You can open up your map. Drink some water. You can open up your map by pressing M. Your map is always available to you and you can place markers on it to save locations of interest. Ah, Glen <laughs> Charles, welcome, lovely. <laughs> He hath arrived. Okay, let's get out of here. I wonder if maybe leaving here will help my frames. I don't know what's going on. Um, I don't have problems when I'm not running OBS. I don't know what's happening at the moment. Good evening, Empress. Good evening to you. Well, my frames have gone up substantially. It's just very choppy. Oh, dear. What is going on? I have updated my drivers and stuff. Craft a bedroll next. All right. Uh, we need more plant fibre. Um, let's keep checking our journey. Craft a bedroll, place a bedroll, kill people, got you. Alright. We didn't find our water... Oh, we did find the water skin. I, 
We've already found the water skin. I'm such a derp. <laughs> such a derp. Uh, it's got a lot happening right now. OBS usually sounds for only bad screens, yeah. I don't know what's going on. So my frames are going up now. All right, so if you have problems with your frame rates, it might be it might be because of the starter area being different. It might be the smoke or something. We're up to 60 now. Right, let's gather some um, plant fiber. Hopefully it doesn't want to keep me in this like starter, like new river area. Because I had, I do think we're going to go and head up towards Mechcomosis' spire, which is where the golem stuff is. And I thought we might set up by the savannah. I was thinking. Ah, oh, chat. Ah. It's just CPU, GPU, or memory at 100 could explain the stutter. Ba da dum bum. Nope. 67 C uh, CPU going down, obviously. Um, bum, ba -dum. GPU. GPU is at 95 right now. My GPU is struggling. I mean, shouldn't my GPU be at 95? It's not at 100. Is it, the temperature's fine. Is your CPU fan cooled or water? It's got an AIO. The CPU is cool. Um, yeah. I don't know what's happening though. GPU is at 96%, but it's at 63 degrees. So... Stop downloading. <laughs> Calendras! There's always a fun reason in the past when you live with teenagers. Oh, Calendras. Do we look a bit... Does she look a bit weird? Oh. Hold on. Did I? Did we change her back to like a? There we go. She was a bit. There we go. I don't know. She just looked a bit strange. Is that better? Does she look too big now? Okay, we'll we'll decide. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I have like 32 gigs of RAM as well. Temp yeah, temperature's fine. I had bad frames this morning as well when I wanted to start my windows. Said I wanted an update, that's what I did after it worked normally. Mm hmm. Okay. All right, let's see if we can craft a bedroll now. There we go. Place the bedroll. We'll just do it here. We'll, um, we'll leave it there because we can always make another one. Oh, I kind of like this, like the rigidity of this in a way. I don't know why. I see a person over there. The best person to kill first is always going to be a shale back baby. Because it's like, oh, the music. I just love it so much. Hello, imp turds. Does it look all right for you guys? No, I should have gotten a journey step for making enemy bleed there. I should also get one for performing a heavy finisher. You know what I mean? I don't know how I feel about this. Craft rough wraps. We'll follow the instructions as it says. Um, we should make a, like, like right now I would like make a skinning knife because I know I'm supposed to harvest it. Um, it needs to be, I should get a journey step for skinning an enemy. Um, heal yourself. Okay, we can because we took a tiny bit of damage. I mean, it's in a decent order. Harvest meat from a corpse, right. Well, we've already done that. Oh, I didn't mean to eat that. Um, oh my goodness, there's some imps fighting over here. Where is Gallimans? Is, is it Gallimans I'm thinking of? Is it by here, isn't it? Can we get it? Not Gallimans. Um, Hanuman's Grotto. Let's just um, steal some eggs. We're going to need some snackies. Okay, that's a lot of you. Listen, I'm just really... I'm, like, new to these aisles. You know what I mean? Okay, my frames just went up so much. I'm sure I'll still get XP for killing them. Um, but you should, like... 
There is a certain order of things you usually do. Um, I wonder at what point it's going to allow me to get the journey step for Sundering Enemy. I'm up to 100 frames now, but it still looks choppy. I don't know what's going on. So, let's harvest meat from the body. Um, actually, let's make a stone cleaver. Our crafting time is really fast. Harvest meat from a corpse. Harvesting corp corpses with tools may yield raw meat and hide that you can use for farming, for cooking, food and tanning. Some corpses may have items in their inventory for you to take. Corpses remain in the world for 30 minutes before they vanish. That's really useful information. Equip a stone tool and... Yeah, that's a long time. Equip a stone tool and swing at a corpse with left mouse button. Okay. There we go. We need snacks. I have a hatchet and an axe in my hand at the same time. Is that a bug? Chat, I'm dual wielding. Chat, what's going on? <laughs> what is happening? If I make a torch, am I going to be able to carry a torch and a weapon at the same time? <gasps> I'm dual... Chat, you can hold a torch? Funcom, you didn't mention this. I didn't see this. Squirrel? Is that? That's not because of one of my mods, right? <gasps> Can you hold two? We must find this out. Let me first learn how to make the better torch, because that one's poopies. Uh, regular torch. We want to get a bit of wood. Um... All right, well, let's, let's extinguish it for the moment. This is very exciting. Chat, that's huge, because if you can have a torch out whilst um, dragging a rope, that is, like, huge, huge. Uh, we have more points to spend. We're going to put some in expertise now so we can carry the stuff we need. What does our first perk give us? Um, lose, tools lose durability half as quickly and hunger and thirst depletes 33% slower. <sighs> can we just enjoy the new river music? so lovely oh. is it a throwing axe did I make a throwing I did make a throwing axe but could I always I could always have a torch and a weapon okay did I get just to get excited torch and rope won't work bugger thank you for clarifying that I was just being a derp yeah it was a throwing axe thank you asshawk <laughs> You could use a torch shield throwing axe off hand before two. Yeah, I was just being a derp. I was like, because um, I had I had a, an axe, a hatchet. I thought it was a hatchet. Um, someone has seen me. Danger. Let's get some yellow lotus. Right, refill your water skin. Let's follow the steps. There we go. Let's E on the water. Unlock the primitive cooking knowledge. Is it in here? What does it say? Unlock prim primitive cooking from the knowledge menu. Craft a campfire from your inventory tab. Okay. All right, so we need to be able to learn how to make a campfire. Primitive cook, F on that. And then let's craft a campfire in our inventory. And then we can cook food, access or place a campfire. A lot of these things are going to be easier if you stick by New River to start with. So we're going to go with that for now. Cook raw meat. Oh, look at it. Place fuel and raw meat in the campfire's inventory. Activate it by pressing the play button. Branches and wood work both, both work as, as fuel. Open the campfire inventory by pressing E while looking at it. After the meat is cooked, take it from the campfire's inventory. Okay. Very prescriptive. Interesting. And then eat a cooked meal. Journey completed. Survivor. Oh, yeah. What is it? Press J to select a journey now. Survival shelter. Um, activate journey. Okay. Um, so we should have gotten some... Did we not get a reward? Squirrel. Do I have to claim the reward? Claim reward. 
things. Open. 500 wood. Nice. I like it. Oh, chat. Look up there. Night time is coming. And now, so for this chapter at least, there's no normal night time on Exard Lands. We have this eclipse moon. Um, so the next stage is, is building something. Um, I want to run up to the savannah. I want to go here. I want to live up here because Mechamosa's Spire is up here. This is where you learn about golem shaping and things like that. And I want to build up here. There's a little bit of water there. There's lots of dangerous animals here. Um, the galleon. The galleon is over here. Uh, and we have a reasonably easy like route to the obelisk. Oh, it looks pretty. Oh, I'm so glad I put nighttime on full length. That's so cool. Do you have to do this every time you join a server? Um, I guess every new character. Spamming you like a champion. Yes, absolutely. Hey, there's a bonus step. We have to climb a tall cliff and yeet far out over the side. Calendros. <sighs> Someone sees me. Jaws music has started. All right. So the next stage is going to be making a shelter and things like that. Um, let's... I, I have a... I have a plan in mind. 29 FPS. Hmm. I have a 3060 Ti. I should not be struggling right now. Don't stare directly at it. It's dangerous. That's a fair point, Foran. Good advice. Um. I did torch as a weapon all the time before I added mods. No torture. Rope, but yeah. I just got excited. Got excited. I mean, like I always say, there are ways around that, aren't there? in the game um you know there is uh, argosian dream dust there are night potions uh there are torches uh, sorry there are torches there are um what's it called there are weapons that glow like glimmer moon forge light oh this is a mini boss who will give us some um some pieces of armor nos the murderer just don't get hit by him because he's got daggers like us We need to make another bed roll, really. That's right. Viking ready. Nice. There we go. We got a piece of armor. Carrying capacity plus 15. And we got an iron pick. We'll take all of that stuff, sir. Let's put these lovely boots on. Um, so we now have 29 armor. We can drop those scrappy shoes. We'll keep the shell back head so we can always squish that. Um, leather journal. That's the thing that that dude shouted at us. Um, and now we can make, because we have a bit of hide, we can make uh, raw hide bedrolls. We're going to want those, a few of those ready. Um, because we're going to be running through the map. And um, oh, I love those. Put your putting stuff away icons okay so we're going to run up to this section of the map we might run into some hyenas who might try to bite our toes um burn. i'm sorry i'm sorry everyone's got to eat everyone needs snacks didn't see that chat i love all creatures a lot of branches around here ba -da -da -ba. What is the next thing that we need to do? Um, unlock the apprentice mason knowledge. Well, oh, I've got some... I've got attribute points to spend. Uh, I'm going to go grit because we're running up. Um, oh, let's get some aloe while we're here. There is going to be a bunch of aloe not too far from where we're going. Ba-dum-bum, Oh, God, my frames. I don't know what to do. It's OBS, I think. Pretty sure you'll run into more than a few of those hyenas. Yeah, they're really scary. If you've got to go, like, get your body, if you're running naked through the map. Does the game look smooth on stream? Should we kill a crocodile? Let's put a bedroll down here. Crocodiles are a good way to get early XP, really. If you're pretty confident. 
If I die, it's because... Oh, he's a one skull. I'm not going to fight you, sir. <laughs> nope. No, sir. No, sir. They have blue glowy eyes. Just don't fight them immediately. Just, just, just turn and turn and go. Oh, goodness. He's still following us. Look at him. He's still coming. Leave me alone, mister. Yeah. <laughs> so we didn't get a journey step for punching and kicking, climbing, um, or anything like that. Which is a big change in the game. That has just always been a thing. I feel... I feel slightly ups like I don't know unnerved by the lack of journey steps. I assume they will come later. I don't know. Maybe they won't. This guy's gonna run away probably. Oh no, he'll die. Sorry about that. Okay, we should be able to take this guy. Let's get my stamina up. I'm just really glad that they've changed a bunch of early stuff to give me an excuse to do another playthrough because I'm super excited. I love it. Um, we'll skin him. Uh, we're going to make hot dogs today very nice. Um, more grits, I think. And I guess we'll... We have so much branches. So many branches. I'm going to get as much of this aloe as I can on our way up, just because it's handy. Get some desert berries. Um, she's probably going to find a mini boss by accident. Um, you just need to activate it. It's in Warrior. Ah, okay. I see what you mean. Get him. I see. Interesting. So I've got to, like, as a, as a, experienced player be like hmm i gotta activate another journey so and then i guess i could just pick which one i track all right um so let's do that then warrior no it's locked warrior is locked you have to do them in order hmm so we have to do shelter first bum, bum, ba, dum. i guess considering at the beginning of the game one of the biggest threats, if you stay around New, New River, is the sandstorm. So, what are you doing? He's lost his car keys or something. So, ooh, there's been a big old fight here. We're going to capitalize on this. What are you doing, buddy? You're like derping out. What is wrong with him? He's got some kind of brain sickness. We've got to not eat him. Let's skin him instead. Uh, you, you do, but can only do one at a time. You, you do have to activate each journey, but we can't activate Warrior yet, unfortunately. Let's loot these bodies. Is there anything we can take? We'll skin them for the XP, and then we'll just drop stuff. Let's uh, split the, the stone. There's going to be plenty of stone where we're heading. All right. Let's go this way. I've still got the sip to music stuck in my head. Third row on the left isn't that accessible. If I click on J for journey, the survivor here... So, and then survival shelter, and then there's warrior here. And can you see there's a, like a lock symbol here? I can't, I can't activate it. It says locked. Yeah. So we've got this one going at the moment. I'm just gonna follow it along, see what, see what happens, and we'll form an opinion, I guess. 
Hello, Min. Good, thank you. Homesteader. Homesteader? What are you on about, love? Um, Halton Zeus, thank you so much for the Prime. Welcome in. Thank you, thank you. If anyone here isn't in our Discord, by the way, and would like to join the Discord, I'm going to say this a bunch of times today. Um, uh, there's a link in the chat. If you'd like to join our Conan Exiles Exiled Lands server that is modded the same as this game, exclamation mark, mods Valheim, if you want, uh, mods Conan, if you, if you want to see the list of mods. Um, shut up, shut up. <laughs> um, then, uh, yeah, it's two-time harvesting, PvE, very friendly. Um... Then yes, just go to the pinned messages in the Conan Exiles channel. Everybody's welcome, you don't have to be a subscriber. But I just, you know, it's quite a good time for me to mention. Thank you, Starbird. Um, we'll see if it keeps happening. Yep, Mods Valheim, stop it. <laughs> Progress at your own leisure. Yeah, I, I hear what you're saying, lovely. But there is this, there's a, this, these are, this is, these are the journey steps in the order. Yeah. The third one is locked. This is what we're talking about. Hello, Dave. Hello, hello. Oh, gosh. You saw some without them being locked. Oh, blacksmith and mason. Mm-hmm. I see, I see. Homesteader. Mm-hmm. I see. Right. I hear what you're saying. I see, I see. That's cool. Yep. But we're going to follow it along. Got you. I th we were talking about the warrior ones, you see. That's why I was didn't realise that's what you meant. Second time the game got me stuck in my rhino mount and said, unable to mount, even though there's plenty of room around it. Oh my. Uh, smack. Thank you for the follow. Like those. I see, Kellen Joss. I get you, love. Um, how are you doing, Dave? How goes it? Are we going to fight a spooder? Um, the game is still very, like, um, what's the word? Stuttery. I do not know what's going on. Do I need to work on my graphics driver, uh, my driver settings or something? I never normally have problems. But the temperature of my like, GPU and CPU is fine. I am using a lot of my GPU. I don't know, loves. You listen, you little pooper. Okay, this could go kind of awry. Listen, I don't want to fight you. I want you to die, though. There you go. Haha. -ha. Okay, we've got 6,000 XP. Let's go. Let's go and tune the obelisk in the center as well. <laughs> chasing me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Uh, we'll learn a dance around here as well. There's a couple of emotes here. Um, there's a kiss emote just over here. Not that we're going to use it, but, you know, it's it's on our way. And I like to do stuff like that's on the way. Let's just go to this bit over here. We're going to run back over. Oh, Diablo 4. Excited to see you try Diablo 4. Yeah. Well, um, somebody tweeted about it last night um, from Blizzard. And, um, and I went on a website and I got access, basically. So... Yes, it is huge. Uh, blow kiss, we just learnt in this location. Next to Death Whisper Ruins. That is where you get the Executioner's Hood. There's like an entrance just over there. Um, and the uh, Executioner's Axe and Sword and things like that. But it's kind of a tough little cave. Uh, we are in no way ready for that right now. Let's get a Sated buff. Um, now, we did pick up a bit of aloe. Let's make a few aloe potions. I'm going to use those instead of those. <sighs> there we go. Oh god, game. Why must you troll me? Uh, let's repair our daggers. Squirrel? Okay, I already pressed it. Da -dum, da -da -dum. Yeah, I think maybe on Saturday we might do like a section of the stream on Diablo 4. Maybe we'll do like Valheim and and um, and Diablo on the same day, you know? I did get a beta key. I did. If you're American, you could also buy a KFC. <laughs> One of those like abomination burgers. <laughs> Stop trolling all of that. It's my job. Who's tro who is trolling me in, in place of you? Um... 
Good. Yeah, Hob was like, uh, are you allowed to... Uh, I don't know if you're listening, Hob, I love you. I don't know if Hob, Hob was like, are you allowed to, like, stream it? Because like, if I would announce that I was going to stream it um, and <laughs> not have checked... Uh, okay, this, we've taken a bit of damage. We're going to win the fight. Right, let's heal up. Ba -bum -ba -da -dum. Uh, we want to harvest everybody for the XP, really. Let's do that. So, I do not want to run through there. We'll get corrupted. Um, there is a passage this way. We'll go this way. Um, oh, the game is trolling me. I see what you mean. Did, you, did I hear beta key? Um, Diablo 4. Mm -hmm. D-butt. B-butt key. Diddle here. B-butt key for what? Oh, butt spot. Oh, chat, I love it in this map. <sighs> so you're going to enjoy the water. Listen, sir, I'm just me vibing. I'm vibing in the water here. There's a little passage up here. We'll, we'll get a bunch of, like, uh, yellow lotus. We'll want that to respec. With the yellow lotus potion. Um, there's a rock up here. And under the rock... I'm saving my iron pick, by the way, for when we get up there. There's like a chest in here, isn't there? Under the sea, under the sea. There we go. There's a little, little, ooh. Um, nice, bits and bobs. We can, oh, if I equip this war paint, it's gonna give me a beard and hairy arms, like a pirate. <laughs> Not today, you know. Save it for, you know, that special day of the week where we like to cross-dress chat. Do you know what I mean? Um, I'm joking, by the way. She's like, oh, I didn't realise she's a cross-dress. No, I'm not. If you, if you are, it's absolutely fine. <laughs> so people don't get my humour. Uh, let's drop the heads because they weigh too much. <laughs> she likes to cross-dress as a pirate. Oh, does she now? I had no idea. Oh, yes, she does. She just likes to blacken up her face like she's got a beard. <laughs> Uh, Turd Wallet reporting for duty. So there, there will be salamanders along here. We've got to be kind of careful. Um, frames have gone up. Do not spit at me, you turd. Don't. Oh, I rolled too early. Squeaky, get the salamander. She's like complaining. Stop it. Okay, you can you can run like a serpentine to avoid them. Hopefully your frame's better than mine. What is going on? Do you know what I would really like? Um, you know, like they gave us in Valheim. I would really like a pause button for single player. Um, I might have to suggest that. Um, are you going to attackinize me? Oh, you little fudge. Right, he shouldn't spit. Oh, God, do you see my health? Oh, ho, ho, poopies. Nope. Okay, it's alright, there's only a boss croc this way. Everything will be fine. He's going to protect us. He's just very friendly. There's a boss up here. World boss crocodile. Nothing to see. This is going to be a nice supply of aloe for us. Um, I could climb up here. Just want to, like, have a look at my graphic settings. See if I can maybe... Oh, gosh. Adjust something. Um da 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 dum ba da ba da ba ba bum ba da ba da ba da bum ba da ba da ba da that's better bum ba da da dum squeaky do you want to go out the room? Is it that time now where I have to start opening and closing the door every five minutes? bear with chat. Oh, I forgot to learn the dance. Ah, oh, poops. Hold on.
Okay. Um, her, bo what is her, her boobs look weird. What is going on? Maybe we just never usually wear these things. The CPU is absolutely fine. Uh, Kel, it's just the, the GPU is like, is, is, is being used a lot. CPU is at like 60%. Um, and I have closed Chrome as well. I have only OBS and my game and my Wavelink software running currently. Uh, did you see the wallpapers? Did I see the wallpapers? Um, have they put some graphics online for us? To ooze, to use. Squeaky needs to, <laughs> to learn to jump up on the door handle. She does actually, doesn't she? So there are, I think, some hyenas around here. We're coming up to where I want to have our first base. Bam, bam, ba da dum. Ba da 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 da. Here we go. I have had a base right here, but this isn't exactly where we're going to be. Ba -da -ba -bum -ba -da. There's a bunch of hyenas. Ba -bum -bum. So this is why I want to build here. We've got a headhunter stand here. And at this headhunter stand, there's some very useful things that we can get. This guy's just a turd wallet. Just ignore him. This guy will sell me supply materials for five ancient obelisks. This guy's just chassis. This guy will sell me Axe of the Lion. You know I like to ask people questions. Also, we can get the Black Blood Sickle here, but, you know, we're going to do things the legitimate way. So, yeah, so if, if I just turn in some sorcerers, um, I can get my Axe of the Lion for 15 ancient obelisks. That is going to be clutch. We can get a couple of those. Um, it's going to absolutely, like kickstart our game for us um, and there's a camp here ruins of El Moriah where there are sorcerers basically hello turd wallet they're pretty tough like really early on I should put a bedroll down soon I mean they're not that tough like generally speaking but we're like uber, uber noobs If I go too far, he'll he'll um he'll like diagro. This is where we're gonna build for our playthrough. Ooh. Drink! No 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 no! Drink drink! Yeah. Oh. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. That's right. I wasn't scared. <laughs> Not for a moment. I knew I'd be fine. <laughs> um, there's no drops, Godfather Chris. I didn't see any announcements of drops at all. I'm kind of disappointed about that, to be honest. Where is this trader place? This is this is the savannah. There's really, really good place for, like, elephant hides and stuff. Yes, you can, Sid. Very few trees in this zone. There are very few trees. That's true, Helton. There's very, 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 very few trees. Truth. Very truthful. Um, we got some iron reinforcements. Let's skin this guy. Um, if you're new here, I have about six that over six thousand hours in this game. Uh, I've built in most places on this map, um, and I have a lot of guides on YouTube. Um, there's a link in the chat to my YouTube channel if you want to see any of those. Um, yes, I'm a bit of a veteran, really. Um, are they new weapons? The same weapons, Sid. I haven't been to all of them. Uh, oh, you mean they're the same as last time? Um, I don't. Th I don't think they're the same things. I think they've changed what they what they give you. But we didn't come to this stand. Actually, I don't think this headhunter stand was here. I don't know. I don't know. We've been on Sipta for a little while. Right. Well, we have our bedroll down. Um, let's get to kind of doing the mason stuff um, that it's asking us to do. Oh, um, hmm. Let's do a bit of vitality. There we go. Um, I'm not going to put any points into agility. Um, I'm going to put them into strength once I get to that point. Um, so, okay, let's follow our journey steps. Journey, journey, journey. Survival shelter. Unlock the apprentice apprentice mason knowledge. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -bum. 
learn the bits and the bobs. What I usually do is after sometime after the first stream, I build a big majestic house. Um sometime between usually sometime between the first and second stream or sometimes between the like second and third stream. Um so I will build something kind of epic here. I don't know if it's gonna be epic, obviously, but something pretty decent. And for, until then, we're just going to have like a little stone house or something. Because we're going to follow the steps. Um, craft a stone hatchet. Oh god, we already did that. Stone hatchet. Let's get some twigs. Right, there's a lot of branches in this area. But, um, I did drop my branches. There's um, a section with... We could obviously just chop these trees down if we had a stone hatchet. But, um, so there are some branches like dotted around here but there's a big like um dry wood section over here <clears throat> this is going to be somewhere we'll probably retreat to <laughs> in the middle of a fight i imagine um what i like is that there's an npc camp there and there's like one on the other side as well um there's going to be some branches on the ground around here you got to be careful because one of those hyenas could end up spawning in as a one skull. And they're extra scary. They'll do a lot of damage to us at this point. Ba -bum. Ba -bum. Okay, stone hatchets. Use your hatchet to cut down a tree. Okay. Let's go away from the doggos. Hope's fire. Thank you for the follow. Is that a sandstorm in the distance? I don't see a sandstorm. Currently. We're not too far from the obelisk here. Um, it's like central. Pretty central in the map. So I like it around here. I think my frames have kind of behaved a bit now. It's less stuttery than it was before, which is good. Oh, gosh. I don't mind fighting a hyena, but it's got to be like one at a time. He's going to give me some... Look at that. 10,000 XP is going to be nice. Um... See, there's the other camp over there. So we're going to be able to get a bunch of crafters. They're like they're not too tough um, for um, you know for this stage of the game. They're not like new river people. They're a bit too easy for us, really. Um, I guess we could skin him, but I'm going to leave him for the moment. Ah, uh, I better drop. I better make a box. Um, Oh yeah, it wants me to chop down a tree, but can I can I not make a box yet? Box, 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 box. Oh, storage, storage, storage. There we go. There's my little construction hammer, friendo. Uh, we want to make a box and we need a bit more twine for that. Um, I can make twine. Um, let's use this little shack here initially. What I was thinking about this bit here was that we could use this. We could put like the cursed tree in here or something and have it like a thaumaturgy section, something like that. Um store our stuff in here. Got our little campfire in the middle. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba. Because I'm not on a server, this is single player, I don't have to worry about decay. If you are playing um, if you're playing on a server, you'll need to make sure you put foundations down underneath things. I'm not going to eat human flesh. Not on this playthrough. Let's just burn a bit of branches. Alright, let's go chop down a tree. 
Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I have harvesting on two times. Um, hello, junkie. The big red beam is where you learn the golem stuff. I know. That's why I chose to, to build here. Yep. Are all the sorcery corruption talents in now? In the journey, in the journey steps... Daglas is so useful, yeah. Best weapon for killing elephants early. Definitely. They're best for everything early, aren't they? They're so good. They're just... Because you can just do a bit of, like, whip at them with your daggers and then move away and... I'm in some weird... No, we're not in, like... Um, yeah, this is why I wanted to build up here, basically. Um, thank you for the follow, Junkie. So happy I managed to complete the last battle pass. Looking forward to making a cursed tree. Yeah, definitely. Um, tree, 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 tree. Yeah, there's some trees over there. Bum, ba, ba, dum. I don't know if I'm going to keep the um, mini map on the screen. Uh, look at the. This is the beautiful new like nighttime sky. Um, I have nighttime on the normal length on this playthrough. Usually I have nights on super, super fast. Um, just for the purposes of streaming. Look at it, it's so beautiful. This is night now. It's going to be so nice. Imagine dragging thralls. Um, build a foundation, okay. Well, we'll get some more wood while we can carry it. Uh, we're only at 44%. Let's kind of keep going. Let's get a bunch of wood. Ba, ba, bum, bum. I want to make sure we don't become over encumbered and get killed by a hina. Oh yeah, we still need ten actually. Um, let me get my daggers out. I don't have any stone on me. Gotta watch out for the glowing eyes, guys. Hello? Sir? Sir? Am I invisible to you? Ten thousand XP is really nice. They you do you really do earn that XP though. Because they are pretty tough, I think. Like really early game. Let's skin him. Leather's going to be handy. Da, 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 da. Bam, bam. Is there another one? Right, let's get the rest of the wood. Da, 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 da. Game changed a lot since I stopped playing. A lot has changed, definitely. Um, what's it called? 3.0 really did change a huge amount. Um, right, we've got all the trees. We may as well get these last two. Well, we've got space. I don't think they added agility corrupted stats, but I can check. Oh, I see what you mean. Is that what you're asking? Hello, Renegade. Welcome, welcome. It's good to have you all here. Thanks for being here. Very excited for a new playthrough. Uh, join the Discord. Uh, there's a link in the chat. Um, if you want to join our Exard Land server, you're very welcome to. There's a Just join the Discord. Go look at the pinned messages. See all the information. Ba -da -da. I'm like suspicious every time I see these guys that they're going to be the, the corrupted ones or whatever. There you go. I'm really liking this so far. Really, really nice XP from this spot. It's going to help us when we have to like knock out a bunch of sorcerers to get our axe. Ba -ba -dum -ba. Like now you have a shop of some sort in a battle pass. That's true. Yeah, we haven't looked at that yet. I do want to do that. Have a look through together. What I like about this section here as well um, is it's whenever you can build on like a plateau like this, it's going to be a lot better for purges. So we just have this access route here, um, and then there's an access bit over the other side. Otherwise, I don't have to worry about being swarmed in a purge. Um, there's this other section here, so we can have a gate either side of it. Um, right, let's do the next bit. Build a foundation. Okay. Let's get our stone from the box. Ba -ba -dum -ba -dum. 
Um, should we build in here? Like initially. What's nice is you can actually, um, you can build, you can use these like ruin pieces. I don't know if you know that. I've made like a little oasis on our server. Now, the grass should not stick through foundations anymore. That is supposedly something that they got rid of. This could be like a nice little initial house for us, can't it? The shack. Well, I, I'm going to build um, something big in creative mode off stream, um, as I've been started doing like on the last couple, well, which I do for the playthroughs. I have a lot of time in the game, and uh, you know, I'm you know I'm just not going to hit rocks for like five days to make a big house. That's it. Can someone explain to me the followers part? Um, what do you want to know? The thrall that you have thralls that follow you. Um, what do corrupted stats do? I've seen people using videos know how to do how they work. Basically, you gain corruption from using magic in the game. Um, for, for like sacrificing people, draining their blood or draining their soul and things like that. As you level sorcery, you learn how to do these things. Whenever you become corrupted, um, you get an option to corrupt. You get like a little plus symbol that appears next to some of these uh, attributes. And then you can corrupt the perks so you can you'll level up your say you level up your vitality as much as you want to if you become corrupted which you know you can become corrupted from obviously traveling through like obelisks and stuff like that going through the unnamed city doing sorcerer stuff etc etc um then yeah once you have a certain amount of corruption then you can corrupt your attributes you do need to use soul drain orbs to corrupt them um and then you get perks that are, you can't currently see. You have to like uh, be corrupted to be able to see them, basically. Um, I, at the end of like, well, we haven't finished the Scepter playthrough, um, but I actually think I prefer to not be corrupted because I think my survivability and my thrall's survivability is better. I prefer to have max authority and have war party, two, two followers. Um, and I just think that sort of, it's just better really, so. Uh, let's pick up this stuff. Da -da -da. It's a shame it doesn't fit perfectly. Ba -ba -bum -bum. Decorations, box. Put our box back down. Ba -ba -dum -bum. Okay. We're working our way through the the journey steps here. I've just kind of like let's put the meat in, in the fire. Uh, we do have a bedroll down somewhere just over there. We'll move that in a minute. Um, build a wall. Okay, so let's get some more stone. Ba -bum. Da -da -da. Mm -hmm. Ba -da -da. I could use my iron pick, but I'm saving that. I'll probably save it for like iron. Oh. There's a bit of coal around here, there's a bit of stone. It's gonna be alright. Um, followers are just for our thralls. You can have followers is also uh, animals as well. Anybody that follows you. So not crafters, obviously, in benches, things like that. Renovated ruins, yeah. Um, uh, Plain corrupted is a different playstyle. Yeah, okay, I'm hitting like a rocky that you can't harvest. Gotta be careful I don't aggro that guy over there. Between these two camps, though, we should be able to get, like, a good bunch of crafters. Um, not particularly good for fighters and things like that. Um, but they're, you know, you could use them initially. Um, we also have the headhunter stand right next to us. 
I don't know how much I'm going to use that. I guess we'll try and get a combatant. See if we can get a Delincia. That'll be nice. Um, this is around G7. Is, where is this on the map? It's at, it's at the Savannah. This yellow section of the map here. Which is G, yeah, G7. Um, this, the ruins of El Moraya are the, uh, the bigger NPC camp. And then we're here at this re weeping ruin. Um, but there's lots of... Um, what do you call it? There's lots of elephants around here. Ob lots of tigers and stuff as well. But you need a lot of elephant hides. So I like to be kind of close to them. Decided to reinstall and I'm lost. Well, now follow just just follow the journey system. Because they've created a new journey system. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -bum, ba -bum. So now we want to do walls and things. Um... It's not going to stay like this. This is just like, um, you know, just for the journey steps, really. Uh, we can use, like, this, this fancy stuff. Um, have I not learned how to make walls? Oh, yeah, there was a wall there. What am I missing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> literally, literally a wall right there. Um, okay, build a wall. What else do we have to do? Build a door frame. Okay, we can use the arcane stuff because I got, I got that. I, I, was it the battle pass? I feel like it. Oh, I can't remember. Um, what else? Use the building piece picker. Didn't we do that? The construction hammer can be used to copy existing build pieces. You can use this to build much faster. Use the middle mouse button. Oh, I see. Ah, I don't know if I've ever done that. Build more walls, all right. Ba -bum. Ba -dum. Ba -da. We're just going to hide the ruins here. <laughs> I mean, the door's kind of like placed, <laughs> you know, um, build a ceiling. Hold on, let me, can I do a, it's going to tell me to do a door anyway. Are we going to go one story? Oh, we can't do one story, can we? Da -da -da. Journey set, build a door. Ba -da. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, I need some twine for the door. So I need a bit of... What's it called? A bit of fibre. These are tier one. Um, they're just like fancier because they're they're just prettier because they're from like the battle pass. They're just kind of pretty. Access or place a wooden box. All right, we'll pick up the wooden box. Put ourselves some stairs. I don't know if it's going to ask me to do that in a minute. You can dismantle something and replace it though. There you go. Place or access. I guess because it thinks you may have already made a box by now. <laughs> Wooden box is, is small, but important addition to a base of operation. We sip some coffee. Store something in your wooden box, okay? Okay. Press J to select a journey. So we should be able to claim a survival kit. Very basics for survival. Ooh, consumable. Right click. We got lasting feast. We've got lasting feast, which gives us increased carry capacity, which is very handy for when you're building a base. It's also very filling. Did we get an aloe extract and a fiber bedroll? Um, I didn't notice what else we got actually. Does it does it tell us what we got? Bedroll and food, I guess. And a water skin, was it? We got another water skin. Okay. Um, right, what else does it want us to do? What is unlocked then? Blacksmith. I guess we do blacksmith next. Or mason. This is like... Hardened brick is slightly higher level, isn't it? Firebolt cauldron and things. That's much, that's much later. Tanner... So we can do blacksmith or mason, homesteader, 
bed shape and knowledge. We want to do a bed because we want to place bed rolls regularly. Um, and then you, or you could choose to do acolytes, place an altar, craft religious tools and stuff like that. Um, let's do homesteader first. Ba -bum. Ba -dum. For that, we'll get a reinforced wooden box. Okay. Unlock the bed shape and knowledge. Okay. Um, so I probably need to make an artisan bench for that, I assume. Um, construction hammer. Okay. Got my janky house. Decorations. Crafting stations. Building pieces. Beds. We need some hide. Bourbon. Bourbon. And twine, okay. Bourbon. Craft a bit of twine. Bourbon. Bourbon. Here we go. Ooh, let's have a little bed in the corner over here. And then spawn point updated already. Very rustic, very nice. Not at all janky. Um, unlock the torch bearer knowledge. We've already done that. You can access knowledge when I'm progressing. Oh. We already did it. Oh. House stuff, I guess. Um, okay, place or wield a torch. Yeah, because that's the torch that you... There we go. I guess we could place, um, let's place some like actual torches. Um, decoration. Construction hammer. Standing torch. Um, F. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Lights. I need some branches. So a bit of decorating. Ba -da, ba -da -da. Light up this little shin shindig. Ba -da -ba. Can I make some more torches then? It's got to be these regular torches. One in each corner. I kind of like the little ruins in here, chat. It's not going to stay like this, probably. We're going to do something a bit fancier. Invalid building placement. <laughs> Jank. Bum. Ba -dum. Bum, bum. All right, it's magical. It's the most glorious place anyone's ever been to. I do like being able to open my doors um, or interact with things whilst I'm holding the build hammer. I wish we could do that in um, uh, what's it called? Falheim. Um, let me have a quick catch up on the chat. Um, H seven is I think it was G seven. Decided to reinstall. Recognise it because it's near my base. Ah, um, fortunately, the new journey system will help you a lot. It is, yeah, definitely a tutorial. Main spell to use is coal resources saves hours of grind. Hmm. Although now we'll have golems, won't we? Uh, you don't need nearly as much as you would think. You would if you mine the same nodes. Mm-hmm. Golems. Yeah, the golems haven't used them yet. Very excited. We're going to run up and speak to Mecha Moses very soon. Uh, but my time you spend is in people for that spell. Hmm. If only I get a third of the amount, then I prefer to actually just mine it. If I only get a third, yeah. That makes sense. Confused why you can't do warrior. Mmm, yes. Value the player time more. Yeah. If you need it done fast, spells, yeah. These piano versions are interesting. I'm singing along. The piano versions? What do you mean, lovely? I've got these piano versions of songs playing in the background. Really? Uh, Fabian, Fabian, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Um torch here oh it's beautiful it's so beautiful um all right what's next on the list it is weird that we can't do warrior 
Um, yes, that is weird. Dodge kick. Target lock on an enemy. Yes, you're right. I think that's a mistake. That definitely... We should be able to do that almost immediately. Yeah. Especially if we've already had to slay things. Um... Okay, you can decorate your home with functional furniture or decor to make make it suit your preferences. Unlock furniture maker. Should we run up and go and see Mecca Moses chat? Is it is it too soon? I want to do it now. We've got a bed down here. Um, we're going to try not to get killed by turd wallets running around this place. Um, let's make sure we repair our daggers. In case we get into trouble. And all our tools. I haven't spoken to him yet. I have been on our, like, I was on our server a little bit when uh, the update came out. But I haven't haven't spoken to Mecha Moses or anything. Um, and I haven't really watched any coverage either. So I'm, I'm experiencing this with you. Oh, we got an aloe extract from our... And one healing wrap. Okay. All right, let's go and have a chat with this guy. Have I got water? I have. Yep. So we can just avoid the elephants. Um, we've got to watch out for tigers because there's a, t is there a tiger hiding in that bush. Yep. I'd like to lose aggro from him. I made it. Bam, bam, bit of iron here. Now, normally I would hit one node of iron. You, there's a journey step usually for fully harvest an iron node. Um, let's go and speak to freaking Mecha Moses. I want to learn this golem sh shiznit. Warrior requires unlocking warrior knowledge. Mm -hmm. Did you build an existing ruin of those walls new building pieces? The the ruin bits were already there, but they are build pieces like that, so you can place those. Um I don't know if you have to I think you have to unlock them in the like the knowledge thingy. Technical terminology, I know. Um but they are in the they're definitely in the creative um menu. I don't know if it's a feat that you have to unlock uh, I think maybe it's is it a feat chat somebody will know. But yeah, you can do it in creative already. Uh, you need to you need the warrior knowledge unlocked. Aha. Oh I see. Okay. Thank you, chat. So then we can do the, the now we can do the warrior. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. It's because we chose daggers, isn't it? That's what it is. Existing ruins. Yay! Thank you, Eve. Thank you. All right. I'm very excited about this. I need some coffee. Hold on a second. I've got some. I've got a can of coffee here. Let me just refresh myself. I'll speak to this dude. I can hear somebody complaining, and I wonder if it's like. The woman that's like tied up from from the pictures. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay, peaceful people. I gotta say, this looks pretty freaking cool. Um, oh, look at that! I hear some woman complaining. Kitan exile trader. Oh, this is. I'm really glad we built. We're building here then. I hadn't been up here before. Eye of the Khan. Uh, this is a... What is this? Oh, it changes! Chat, this is so cool. Um, that's a... Uh, that's a bow, isn't it? Eye of the Khan. 15, it changes in nine minutes. Oh, God. Imagine you run up here and you see the thing that you're like, Oh, my God, I really want that. That's a legendary bow, I believe. Um, which is pretty cool. We're we'll we'll coming up there in a minute, lady. Ba -dum. Fighters. This looks so pretty. I love it. 
But, um, slaver. Combatant and worker. Oh, can I? <gasps> I thought maybe I could pick up one of these tridents or something. Trader. Baltier's razor. Um, that is one of, that's a legendary, oh, is that the, is that the mace that weighs nothing, uh, the hammer that weighs nothing, chat? I think it is, isn't it? I think that's the one that I ran around with a lot on my previous playthrough. Absolutely love that. If, if that's what it is, it weighs nothing and it's a hammer and it's a really good hammer as well. This is so cool. I'm so glad we built up here. Okay, let's go up. Exciting. Do you have a video on how you do your settings for single player? I don't, but I could I could do a video. I could do a video, we'll click. If you move the mouse, it covers up the prerequisites. Mm -hmm. I see. Is it the two-handed sword? Okay. Is it the lodestone I'm thinking of? Baltier, Baltier's lodestone, I think, is the one I like. Mm. That makes more sense. This woman is like really unhappy. We need to go help her. I'm coming. I shall save you. What seems to be going on here? Madam, are you here? At oh, that's my bikini. I wear that all the time. Hello, sir. Do we want to speak to him first? Can we have a look around? Trader. Offy magic. <sighs> Chat, I'm very excited and I'm very glad I built here. <laughs> my god. Offy Maggie's cash for 15 blood crystals. Don't know what that is. Very excited. Grand Ophidian Magi, well, Magi's cash for severed head of Karak. I think it's a really cool idea that the rest, of the things that you can get, are on like a rotation. I think that's really cool, so it doesn't get stale. Um, I guess the thing to do is just to kind of really farm a bunch of obs um, uh, ancient obelisks, um, so that you can, if you see something, you can just get it. You know what I mean? Black blood hatchet changes in six minutes. Hello? It's actually... Are you alive? Is he breathing? He is breathing. <laughs> Hello, people. This is so cool. What is up here? Oh, a teleporty... <gasps> Hang on a minute. Does this mean... Does this mean I can use this to teleport from? I'm so excited. No kidding, it's pretty close to my base. I'm excited. Ah, this is amazing. So there's already a teleporting stone here. Amazeballs. This is so cool. Listen, lady, I'll be with you in just a minute. <laughs> all right, have we been all the places? Oh, <gasps> is this the like golem dude? Master Carver Greetings, Wang. Wanda. I suspect an interesting and winding road has brought you to me. <laughs> I am a sculptor. <laughs> My current medium is blood crystals. Uh -huh. Should you bring me some? Mm -hmm. I am happy to barter with my skills such as they are. Okay. You seem like a cool guy. Purchase crystalline guardian empty arm for 200 blood crystals. Changes in 1 hour 44. Uh, yeah, don't spoil. Don't spoil. Uh, yeah, let there be mystery. If you, listen, if you just tell me everything, what do I have to talk about? Think about it that way. If you just tell me everything that's going to happen, I, there's nothing to talk about here at all. Yes, thank you, everybody. Yes. <laughs> May I soon Dead wallets. <laughs> and the blood crystals that you bring me. <laughs> I like him. He's cool got a friend chat okay she's talking about the conditions that she's having she's like listen i was told i would just lie down here for a moment right let's speak to this dude here's the big old beam i've been expecting you oh away now there is much to attend to oh greetings exile oh, okay I did see someone say on the Discord Farewell, you have to keep exile. you had to keep clicking E. Greetings, exile. My oh, I have to say talk. 
The visions came. Here we to go. Me, Here we go. Wafting <laughs> like lotus smoke. The harder I grasped, the more the truths eluded the grip of my mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. I had to be very still, melt away all notion of self, and stalk those cagey revelations like the ghost of thought. Okay. All right. By steaming entrails and divination dripping on a plate, I saw the end of the exiled lands. A hungry doom, ready to swallow us all. Shush, lady, we're talking. But I also saw a way out. By my so potent art, I can harness the coming eclipse mm -hmm. and subvert Kurak's workings. Okay. Through his madness, he taps into potent forces, true. But his strength is also his undoing. Got you. Kurak is chaos. Mm -hmm. A tangled knot of a thousand serpent heads devouring a thousand tails. I, on the other hand, am precision. Ooh. I Ooh. am control. Mm -hmm. All right. The preparations are made. Mm -hmm. The altar is ready. Okay. When the moon eclipses the sun, mm -hmm. I will harness the power of the celestial alignment. Mm -hmm. I only require more blood crystals. Through my visions, looks so I good. spied a way to tap into Kurak's transpiratory stone. Uh -huh. It is the only way in and out of his lair. Mm -hmm. Away now, before all is lost. I wish he hadn't spotted <laughs> It's alright. The visions came to me. Okay, we've, we've heard it all. Lotus smoke. Stop talking. The harder I grasped, no, no, stop talking. The more the stop it. Eluded the grip Look at this. Of my mind. This is beautiful. I had to be very still. Listen, Metcomosis, no I like you, but you talk too much. Sorry. And stalk those cagey revelations. I won't. I don't mind spoilers, personally. Um, she'd be better as a dancer than a sacrifice, but one makes do with what one has, indeed. Sorcery. Gosh, imagine if you built really close to it. I mean, I guess you can't. Wow, look at this. Um, can I take a? There we go. Well, we have night time on full length on this playthrough. Okay, so what we got up here. So apparently we have the access to a dungeon and the, through the trans transportery stone. And we have to turn in like 200 blood crystals or something. 30 blood crystals to ignite the gateway. He said something about blood crystals as well. But we don't know where to like get them, do we? Greetings, exile. We learnt um, the set. So it used, it used to be that he taught you the set religion. He still does that. That's what he, he was always here, but there was no, like the rest of the stuff wasn't like here. Um, hmm. And there's a bunch of traders, which I guess you turn in blood crystals to. Um, and this yes, guy, yes. Do you have the crystals? <laughs> he's so funny. He reminds me of like. He reminds me of someone from like a very old movie or something. Um, crystalline Guardian Arm, 200 blood crystal. So I guess, I guess you have to collect all the pieces. No, no, I'm sorry I failed you, sir. Uh, I guess we could also thrall these guys. Yeah. Just like the people at the Headhunter stand. I'm not here. He yeah, has forgotten about me. I guess, yeah, I guess we could thrall them. Oh. Elves drinker. This is very exciting. Okay. Alright, so let's continue with our journey. Check the girls' clothes and where they got where they got the inspiration. Oh I see. I see. Yeah, I freaking love that bikini, as you may well realise. <laughs> Next lands with the crypts looks perfect in my opinion, much better than Sipta. We can see what playing. I agree with you. I think it's stunning. It's a shame it's not permanent. Um, but it is really cool to have temporary things like this, you know. Um, let's continue, like, journey stepping for a bit. And then I don't know... I don't know how we find out what we do with, like, how we get blood crystals. Did I, did I do all of the things? Attack one of the merchants? We did. We did attack one. 
It teaches set religion for those widows who don't choose it from the beginning for some reason. Yeah, he's always taught you with the set religion. Um, well, we have the journey step thingy now. Uh, we have some attributes to spend. Let's do grit. Um, increase your armor by 40 and stamina by 20. And then we'll do vitality as well. Um, you gain passive health regen. Perfect. Lovely, lovely. Um, I want to be able to get the journey step for um, harvesting a full thingy. Mason. Harvesting a full iron node. Let's finish the homesteader like journey steps. Um, yeah. Ba -da -da -da. Oh, first sandstorm. There is a tiger here. If I could just ignore him, probably. There's a lot of meat here, which is really handy. The kudos um, and gazelles and stuff on this side. Especially if we can just, like, yeet through here. And we're going to want to get ourselves a sorcerer knocked out, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I don't know how we find blood crystals. That I don't know. There's no markings on the map. I don't know. Sandstorm, yeah. We can just heal through the sandstorm. Um... So it's probably good that I leave this little lip here. No one can follow me in. Um, I think we might be all right, f safe from the sandstorm. It might be going past us. Um, all right, what do we need to do next? You can decorate your home. We know that with an artisan bench. Unlock furniture maker. Okay. Furniture maker. Okay. Place artisan bench. I mean, da, 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 da. Um, so there's different artisan benches. If you have like different DLCs, they all they're all the same. It's just aesthetics, really. Um, which one shall we make? Let's get a bit of wood from our box. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. I love our little like little shack here. It's kind of cute. You can just make a basic one if you. Um, don't have the D any of the DLCs. Um, hmm. Let's go Terranian. Seems there's a bit of a Terranian theme on this. Um, I kind of want to place another sandstone, couple of bricks, just to fill out that bit of the the room. Oh yeah. If I remember, like a sieve, sandstone. Okay, let's place our little crafting station here. This is probably going to become like a sorcery kind of thing, these ruins. Probably put like a cursed tree in the middle and loads of roses and things or something like that. Now we can make stuff. Tables can be placed as decor to increase the placement possibilities of objects. New t no true home is no true home is without a table. That's fair. Craft a table. Oh, okay. All right. I've never actually it's it's kind of cool that it's forcing me to make a table. Um, ah, but we need to make shaped wood for a table. Are there any tables we don't need shaped wood for? Which means we need a carpenter's bench. Ah, just wood for a kitan table. Okay. There we go. Is that pay to win, Ruffle? Um, where should we pop our little table? Hmm, maybe in the corner. The Kitan stuff is really lovely. Craft a chair. Okay. I mean, if you don't really want to do this stuff, you could just skip this until later, this journey. Um, I want to see if I can make stuff without the shaped wood. Um, uh, what did it say? Chair. Does that count? No. This is one of my favourite, like, seats in the game. It's really lovely. Um, craft a chair. 
I think I'm going to have to make a carpentry table. A carpentry thingy. Um, um, have I learnt them all? Mm. Braziers. So I need tables. Uh, chairs. Chair maker. I don't want to waste my my feet points that's the only thing making that stuff i can respec uh let's let's change to a different one let's do um let's do warrior okay dodge kick okay craft a stone club stone club we need some branches but um Target lock an enemy. Um, let's choose a little pup. I'll avoid the humans. I don't want to aggro the whole camp. Perform a heavy attack. Apply Sunder to an enemy. We'll do that on the next one. Sender will use our mace for, or maul, whatever. There we go. Alright. Unlock defender knowledge. I kind of like this chat. I kind of like it. I don't know how you guys feel. Um... I'm enjoying these little like steps, especially as somebody who has played the game a lot <laughs> and started the game a lot. I'm enjoying that it's making me do stuff that I tend to skip. I did actually have somebody say when I was doing a previous playthrough, why haven't you made, why, why didn't she make a stone pick? Why hasn't she made like a, this or why didn't she make a box? Why didn't she store things? And because you kind of like, you find your own like minimalistic way, don't you, when you've played it a lot. Of just like you just run to certain parts of the map and loot boxes and stuff like that, and you know things you can skip. Um, da -da. um unlock the bruiser knowledge. Okay, so the only thing about this is you're probably going to want to respec a few times, aren't you? Craft a stone pike. Hmm. Yeah, because you're going to run out of feet points, aren't you? Or is it giving me feet points back? I wonder. I've got 36 available points now. Pike, 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 pike. Oh, craft a stone pike from my inventory, of course. Okay. Is it giving me points back? It is giving me points back. Or it isn't using them. Apply cripple. Ba -da -dum. Ba -da -dum. Weapons such as a pike and two handed sword may inflict a crippled condition on your enemies. While crippled, enemies move at reduced speed. Use right mouse button to perform heavy attacks that can cripple your enemy while using a sword or pike. I love that. That is so cool. Um, did you figure out the blood crystals? Hello, Razzy. I haven't done anything more since we left the, um, everything you've seen is what I've, you know. Best religion is after getting weathered skulls from spider kills. Um, I haven't been thinking about the blood crystals since we left that place. There we go. Crippled. Pike is pretty good, like, really early on. Um... J. Claim reward. Brawler hand wraps. Oh. Warriors can stand their ground in hostile situations. Squirrel. A weapon repair kit. Squirrel. Better thick rope wrappings. But they gave me repair kits. Do they have better durability? Nope. What did I get? 
interesting. Um, I like Diketo, that's me. Uh, I always used to like Yog because it was a small altar and I really liked the purified flesh um, because it was really good food early on and the healing was really, really good from it. Um, that and um, um, Mitra for the Ambrosia as well back in the day. So it said hand wraps, but it didn't give me hand wraps. It gave me weapon repair kits. Can I use it on my... Ah. It'll only go to a certain point, I assume, yeah. That's kind of cool for my iron pick. I'm going to use it for that. All right, let's get rid of our pike. Badum. Badum. Select a journey. Soldier. Uh, defeat an enemy with a strength weapon. Invest five attribute points in strength. Invest ten attribute points into strength. Perform a heavy combo finisher. Well, we do want to put points into strength, but we don't have a lot of points yet. Um, so I guess we need some points, really. Uh, okay, soldier is strength weapon. Rogue is agility weapon. Um, I don't want to put points in agility. Um, homesteader. All I need to do is craft a chair for this. <laughs> but I do get a box for it. Shall I, just to complete it, shall I make a freaking carpenter's bench? Ba -bum. We're going to need to unlock carpenter's bench anyway. Da -da -da. All right, how much wood do I have? I think the hand wraps you... Oh, you craft them. Mm hmm I see. Armour. Maybe it's the light hand wraps or something. If I have to craft them, how much of a reward is that? Do you know what I'm saying? Usually, visually though, Zaf, Diketo, Yog, all else. I think Set, the stuff you get from Set is really pretty. I like the Mitra, like, torch, like, um, what do you call it? The guy who, like, carries a torch and stuff. And they're, like, um, well, whatever. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was going to make a, a, a carpenter's bench. So I need a bit more wood. I got some wood. What else do I need? Um, but um, carpenter, it's such a perfect little house just to get us started. So cute. Um, Bum. Ba -da -dum. Okay, let's make a few of those. Just so we can finish that journey. We started it, we may as well finish it. Uh, where shall I put my little chair? I don't... So, I think a lot of the changes they've made have been really nice. But some of the problems with changes to movement have made it harder to, like, line stuff up. Um, I always used to, um, I always used to, like, make a lot of regular boxes, um, with shaped wood and iron reinforcements. And I just was so good at lining them up perfectly, and now it's just kind of not as easy to do. And it, I just, it, it frustrates me so much. Um, now I just use, like, curio cabinets. Okay. Um... So we wanted to make a chair. But um but um was it a chair? Leather gold dust just that. Nemedian? Oh god, let's make the Nemedian looks kinda cute. Oh we could have made the Kitan chair actually. Oh we weren't tracking it! Oh, oh god, we could dis we could dismantle it. Um, hold on. Where is it? Homesteader. 
All right, so I like that you can switch between things, I guess. Um. But, um. Craft a chair. Do I get it from just placing it down? Nope. Can I dismantle it and then recraft? Oh, God, it gives it back to me. I'm so annoyed. Uh. All right. Um, let's make another chair. Bourbon. Should we make the same one? Okay. Should put them outside so we can sit in on the veranda. Think about our lives as exiles. Shoot the breeze and whatnot. Chat, chat with each other. Um, where should I put this table? Da -da, ba -da, bum, 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 bum. I'm trying to like scroll between things and help me. I play too many games. It's the problem. Um, I could put a table here, but we'll probably want to put like a blacksmith bench there in a minute, aren't we? Um, should we put the table outside as well? Put it on this little... That would be kind of cool if we could put it there. Put it next to that. Doesn't really... Hmm. We'll put it there. We can put snacks on it later. Okay, journey to select one. Um, homesteader, let's collect our reward. I got a box for that. I love the, like, the little gacha sound. So where is the box? Hello? A large box for storing items. Where is it? Am I... Am I is there a problem here, Jet? I didn't get any wraps either. I uh, spent the better part of eight hours last night farming fragments of power. Was eating them up like candy for knowledge points. Yeah. Uh, visually set is a competitor with a commando mod. There's a build mode camera now, unless it's I'm confusing it with another game. Uh, hopefully they modify the journey steps so they count like they used to. The in, the in order part is going to get old pretty quickly. Mm. It is nice that you can switch between them, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's just knowledge of them. Maybe it unlocks the recipe. But we already, yeah, maybe they gave you the knowledge of making the box and the wraps. But we already learnt that, so we've gained nothing from it. And if you're going to be building stuff and gathering a bit of stone, you're going to want to make a box first, aren't you? I feel like... I feel like they should have given you the box. And I think there's a problem, if I'm honest. Reinforced wooden box... Ah, a reinforced one. Okay. Okay, a different box. So you, they taught you a different recipe. I see, I see. Sorry, Funcom, I apologise. All right, O oh ye of little faith. A reinforced box. It is more expensive. Um, let's make it and see what it's see what it is. So we want some. Wood and twine. Ba -da -da -dum. Twine, 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 twine. Decorations, storage, a reinforced box. If it has more storage spaces, I'm kind of happy with that. Is it bigger? It looks bigger. Yes. Aha. Okay. Well, I like that because the little box is poopy pants. Right. Let's get rid of the little... Well, we'll keep the big... We'll keep it. Okay. It gives you a bigger box. Recipe. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. What else do you want to make? Hmm. I'm not going to do this right now. Um, blacksmith. 
I think we want to do blacksmithing next. I quite like the little noises it makes, I have to say. All right. Access or place a furnace. So we need a bunch of stone for that. Let's get a bunch of stone. But, um, well, we've got a pick and we've got these little repair kits. So let's use those. Okay. Uh, so we need like, I don't know, it's like 550 stone or something. Oh. Thereabouts. We'll get a bit of coal as well. Da, 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 da. Um, is there gather harvest coal? We'll do it in an order then. So that we don't have to go and find more coal. There's a few bits of coal around here though. Um, I think it's like 550 or something I need. Ba -da. It did say reinforce. It, it, it did, yeah. That's true. I would have liked if it gave me the box. I don't know if that's just a bit too much. <laughs> it unlocks the recipe, yeah. Yeah. What's your favourite religion chat in this game? I, yeah, I, when I'm playing on a server and I have a lot more time on my hands, like when I, before I was a streamer, uh, I would do all the altars. I would learn, like, you know, I would harvest all the, like, um, items for it. I would upgrade it all the way, all, like, fully. I would get archpriests for every single one. I just haven't put time into that uh, yet. We did, on the Sipta playthrough, I did say I was going to do a bit of, like, religious stuff. And we did make an altar for Mitra, but I never actually did any harvesting. Um. Ba -da. Ba -da. Ba -ba. Yeah, I don't know about the wraps. We'll have to have a look at the wraps, actually. Now that we know that it's just learning stuff. There they are. Brawler wraps. Armour unlocked. Armour value 2. Chat, why would you make them? If you have to make an armourer's bench and you get an armour of one from these, like for two, for one more armour, is that worth it? I would say no. Okay, we got, uh, we got a bit of stone. Finding that iron pick in that body was actually pretty clutch considering we've got these little repair thingies. Tiketo has the best fashion to go with set for the cheap gas. Sandstorm mask and snake arrows. Just wish set clothes were more to my liking. Hmm, that's fair. It is. It's a hundred percent increase. That is. That is also true. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's put a little furnace in the corner. I guess of our little abode. I've never built in one of these before, chat, and I'm loving it, honestly. Um, right. What else does it want me to do? Harvest ironstone. Okay. Let's put our stone in here. We're going to want some more of that. Um, do, do. We'll do it in the order it says. I'm trying not to aggro any of the cats. Okay. I'll just get three bits of this. We're going to need it. Zaf night bag some spiders. I usually choose Mitra. Do you, does it does the like ethics of the religion affect your choice, or is it the aesthetics of like the things you can make? What is it that affects you the most when you choose a religion in this game? It, for me, it used to be that I wanted to choose like Yog first because I wanted purified flesh, um, and I wouldn't. I don't care too much about um, Amir, and I would go and learn that. Um, <laughs> I would just go and learn that when I was already up, like, towards Mounds of the Dead, you know? I feel cheated. As a long character time build, 3k hours on my build, I won't get any of the journey step gifts. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Can you not? You won't get the gifts? Are you sure, Kevin? I think I would go with Crom. I like that. Yeah. I've never actually... I've never chosen Crom. 
Yeah, I probably should do. You should. You probably should choose Crom and then learn them on the like the the on the Exiled Lands. Let me let the cat in. She's complaining. Hold on. Okay. Um, let me catch up. Um, yes, Kevin, I feel like you should be able to. When you log in, you should be able to get all the journey steps. I wonder if they'll do something about that at some point. Um, I heard you can read your armband, Calendras. No crumb. Hello, Franco. Uh, yeah, I've never learnt crumb. Crumb cares like no other. Ethics aren't that aren't all that different, really. I mean, yeah, but Mitra is like the good one, isn't he? I didn't get this get any this morning when I played. Everything was locked. Really? Hmm. Have you discovered all of the like spawn areas down here? I don't know. If you go to one of these spawn areas that you've not been to, will it happen? No. Uh, maybe Yellow Lotus to reset knowledge might unlock the steps. Might try it when I play. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Let us know. Um, I did it in the old journey when speedrunning to 30 level. Not for ethics. This is a game after all where religions do work. <laughs> yeah. Kill them all. Let Crom <laughs> sort them out. Um, personality. Um, as a mathematician and DM, I say ethics and ideology is everything. My character is a desert trader scavenger. Decato just makes sense. You sound way too sober to be listening to me. To all, I'm being both sarcastic and self-sarcastic. I don't don't take everything I take literally. Nah. Last I heard, one of the Lotus potions had been bugged for a long time. I think the I think Lotus is fine now. It was like resetting things it wasn't supposed to, but I think it's fine. Yeah. Hmm. Just drinking coffee. 
Mm. Oh, the chat, I see, okay. Um, I'm loving the night time. Look at this beautiful, like, sky. Okay, smelt an iron bar. We already did it. Iron bars are the most basic of metals. Hello? We did make a, an iron bar. Squirrel? Do I have to do it again? Hello? That's weird. It, it makes, like, it's so cosy, this, like, red light from the eclipse. Um, where else did I see a bit of iron? Hmm. Um, nighttime is awesome. It is beautiful. It's so nice. Hello, Rickus. Hello, hello. Everybody's great, hopefully. Um, I'm very excited, I have to say. Hello, T Turd Wallet. Is he running back? Ah, they always do. They always run away. <laughs> Where am I going to get a tiny bit of iron from? Hmm. There's definitely some over there. We did smelt iron because there's iron in the furnace. I don't know if I smelted it before I got the journey step request. I don't know. There's a there's lots of bits and bobs. This really is nostalgic for me, this little location. Um Okay, let's just make sure he's not um the one skull. <laughs> if he's the one skull, I'm gonna avoid him. Until I have some better gear. Because he does so much damage. Uh, we gained to level. So I guess we'll save our attribute points. And we'll spend them when we activate the, the journey for the strength stuff. Bunch of coal down here. Yeah, there's some iron down here. Yeah, when I... A long time ago... I built in this at that area just like around that pond not for a very long time so it's kind of nostalgic for me let's get some more iron tried to pick the iron bar for the game to understand the objective pick it up we did pick it up and put it back in mm. um season two was kind of mm. yeah i agree with you i think season two was a bit meh yeah, just the headhunter stuff, but this is very exciting. A new freaking dungeon. Like, new dungeons, new maps, that's really what I'm after. Um, I love that they've changed um, the journey steps, because that's going to give you like a feeling of differentness throughout the game. Um, and also, I have never, shock horror, never completed all the journey steps as they were before. Ever. <laughs> It's kind of unbelievable. So I guess on this playthrough, we'll do it, right? I did say that last time, <laughs> but I think we will. Um, really like Taketo for the birth death imagery until I found out. Um, oh God, that sounds awful, Robo. Yeah. Ooh. I ran that path for iron all the time. There are only two left for me before this season. Really? Gosh. Yeah, this is going to be like one of our world best chests. I'm so happy to be back on Exile Lands chat. I cannot tell you. I mean, I know I have told you, but I'm also like, I'm just very excited to be here right now. I love this game and this is like, this map's my home. So it's so cool. What are you all up to? Are you like playing as well? Are you working, lurking, waiting to get on later? What's the sitch? Um, we'll work through the journey steps a bit. I need to work out, maybe we'll go back up to Mecha Moses and I'll try and work out from what they've told us what to do about the red crystals, blood crystals. And if I get stuck, I'll ask you. If How's that? If you know already. Um, these, this is really good for getting dry wood and bark. Um, but, um, but, um. And we have a source of water as well, which is kind of handy. But, uh, da, da, um. Just pollute the water. I would always have, like, crocodiles in this pond. Um, the only thing I didn't like was it wasn't deep enough to build, like, um, a swimming pool or something. Which is kind of poopy pants. I'm at work till 10.15.
Haven't been on Conan since early December. Gonna have to check out what's new. Loads of new stuff. Very exciting. Definitely. We haven't even looked at the Battle Pass and the Bazaar yet. Maybe we'll do that once we've made our iron thingy. Gotta get food, so hyper focused on Conan and we'll look for a bit. I relate to that so hard. Two and two and three quarter hours to go. You can do it, Kevin. I believe in you. Let's grab the coal as well. I don't want to break that. I won't be able to use uh, repair kits once I've broken it. Uh, soon we'll be able to repair it anyway because we're making like iron. But we might as well use these repair kits. Da -dum. Da -dum. Ba -da -ba -bum. Ba -da. Smelt iron bars by putting iron stone in the furnace together with some fuel such as coal. We did that. I don't know why we didn't get this journey step. Feels kind of nice having a little rustic, like, shack. Um, you know? Feels like proper conaning. Chapter 2 introduced a headhunt made the game a lot less grindy. That's true. Some people don't like the headhunter thing, I think, because it does kind of take away a lot of the, like, the gameplay loop of the game, I suppose, but it depends how much time you have. That's the nice thing, I think, about the headhunt event, is that, you know, it can save a bunch of time. Right, iron, coal, in a furnace... What is going on? Smelt an iron bar. We picked it up already, didn't we? Okay, well, as long as it's working. Place a blacksmith bench. Okay. So, I, did we learn the, uh, the blacksmith bench? Ba -da. Ba -da. I think you get it with the yeah with the the smeltery thing how much do i need i uh, just need to pick up my iron bam, bam. where should we put you friend let's put you here because i'm not going to make anything in my artisan table we're being minimalistic there we go uh unlock the iron tools knowledge there we go. And now we can claim our our loot. Blacksmith, we get more weapon repair kits. Hmm, interesting, okay. Claim reward. Well, we can use that to repair stuff, but but now we can just repair our our pick ourselves. In here. What? Hello? That is iron. Oh, it's because I'm trying to repair it in my own inventory. <laughs> ignore me. <laughs> Just ignore me. Um, mm -hmm. So I would like to make the daggers. Um, I guess. Oh, gosh. So we got two choices. We can... I guess we could do both. Acquire a poison, apply a poison, kill... We're not going to be able to do all this, like, the poison stuff yet. Um, I'm not ready to use... We could make an axe. I feel like an axe is going to be, like, a really good way to survive in that nearby camp. So let's do that. Let's choose the strength thingy. Um, Mason, we're not doing that yet. Uh, soldier... So let's do this one. Defeat an enemy with a strength weapon. We can use the the club that we've got now. We don't need any points in strength to kill a hyena with this because we already killed one with it. <coughs> da -da -da. Da -da -da. Just want to aggro one at a time. It's really the secret. There we go. Invest five attribute points into strength. We don't have an we don't have that many yet. We got we need we need one more. Okay, get some more XP. So okay, we need to level up a bit. Kill some hyenas. 
What level are we at? 19 already. Try to unlock Alchemist. Why? Near level 3. Oh, is that... Why? Um... I, I like the primal feel to an extent for Conan Exiles, but I'm not a masochist like most players. Hmm, I see. Yeah, yeah. No, I get you. What I get why you say you're a masochist, yeah. I mean... <sighs> I don't know. I agree with you, uh, which is why I, when I build my house, I build it in creative on stream. But I also have spent a lot of time on official servers, and there are ways to get lots more resources, um, you know, by upgrading your tools, uh, getting oil of bounty and all that stuff, you know. If you're not building like an absolutely ridiculous palace, um, you know, it isn't that bad. Um, but again, it depends how much time you want to invest, definitely. And it is infamous of doing purge hunting, yeah, exactly. What am I up to playing Getting Frustrated by Darkest Dungeon? Flings snakes at Darkest Dungeon. Hmm. Haven't played that. We're doing a bit of Diablo at some point this weekend. Maybe on Saturday. I usually stream Conan on Mondays and Wednesdays here on Twitch. Um, if you're new here. Every week. Um, and then usually, recently, it's been Valheim Wednesday, Thursday, Friday... Uh, Wednesday, no, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. God, great memory. Oh, we, we gained a level already. Let's put it, uh, journey level unlocked, sorcerer, because it's locked between behind levels, strength. There we go. Five attribute points into strength. That worked a lot better than I expected. Darkest Engine is really good, probably in my top 20 games of all time, but it's also intensely frustrating. Top 20 games of all time, hmm. High praise. Okay, invest 10 attribute points into strength. Oh, God. So I guess you can switch between things because I don't think we're going to do that yet. I don't want to just grind levels. So we could switch to another um, thingy. I guess we want to start working on armor, don't we? Um. Hmm. Well, we can make an axe. It doesn't give us... We don't have to use have the journey step um, active in order to do that. So let's switch to this one, I guess. Unless there's something else. Let's unlock the things. Um... Thrall taker. Yeah, so I think one thing I want to do is to get myself... Mm. Maybe instead... Mm. I'm just thinking instead of making an axe, maybe we maybe we just get our axe of the lion from the headhunter stand. Um, but in order to do that, we're going to need to either kill sorcerers, either kill sorcerers or knock them out and drag them. We don't yet have a means to knock them out. Um, and, and an axe will improve our survivability in that camp over there. Actually, I don't know if there's any sorcerers in there. Should we do a bit of spying? Da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. Ah, I forgot you were here. Ah, nice. We've learned a dance. Ooh. Perfect. I totally forgot that was here. Okay, normally I learn the Aquilonian when we run up this direction. But I didn't. There's a crafter there. There's a f couple of people in, like, armour. Are you a named somebody? A named cook or something? Because they're in, like, light armour. Fighters. 
Definitely got a dancer from there in the past. I don't see any sorcerers. No. Okay, so we have to stick with the other camp. Um, <clears throat> has anyone completed the second step of Sorcery of the Cave? I've been there t thrice, but the step does not check for me. Um, hmm. Darkest Dungeon's amazing. Very frustrating, is it? take is a bit buggy with sequence asks you to complete the steps it's ignoring the head hunt possibilities mm. ba -dum. Ba -dum. Ba -da -ba -ba. Hmm. well maybe we deal with like armor next da -da um okay let's switch 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 to a different journey um, Tanner. I mean, these are things we're going to do anyway. Tour taker. Place a wheel, craft a truncheon, craft bindings. Convert a warrior, obtain gruel. Yeah, obtaining gruel should be f before it, shouldn't it? Yeah. Let's do this one next, perhaps. Um, what do we do armor <laughs> let's do armor and armor first uh, skin an animal not a problem let's cook food that we've got sitting around ba -dum. Ba -dum. we've got loads of like hide and things da -dum. so the only thing is like he might want to do something and it, it's kind of like you're like, oh, should I do? Ooh, should I do this now? Should I wait? You know what I mean? That's the only thing. Uh, let's go kill and skin an animal. Fortunately, my my stone daggers are like working hard for me. Animals can be skinned using your skinning knife when you're close to them. Equip your knife and press left mouse button to start harvesting corpses. Um, those doggos are gone. There's some a bit further down, I think, if I remember correctly. Hello, animal. How is this game now? Does it feel completed? I mean, it's 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 past 1.0, isn't it, at this point? It's, yeah. I mean, they're just, they're expanding it all the time because they have such a, like... Such a fan base. Um, you know, like all survival games like this, there are issues with it, you know? And there will always be issues. Changes will always break something, and that'll be big or small depending on the moment, you know? Dep depending on, like, I don't know. And depending whether you're on console or PC sometimes. Very careful about... One of them is going to be a one skull. I don't see a one skull. Okay, access will place an armourer's bench. Ba -da -da. So if you've already made your armourer's bench, you can just access it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, how is this game now? Does it feel completed? The concept of completed any game is not a thing for two decades now. It's ever it's ever changing and developing. The nice thing is they're adding new like content to it constantly. Um uh yeah for someone who's got a lot of time in the game um i'm just glad that they're kind of you know giving me more reasons to play it excuses to play it i guess um armorer's bench twine wood and stone oh god i just ate raw meat by mistake stone wood God. Uh, twine, 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 twine. Got twine. Do I not have enough? 
more tiny, just a tiny bit. Let's get a bit more plant fiber. We should make a set of iron tools now. Da -da. Mm -hmm. What's your favourite biome to live in? Mine is it's generally the desert, and I think it's because I live in the UK and it's like drizzly and coldish a lot of the time. So I just really like the desert, you know. Don't mind the approach, it feels more lively and engaging. Mm. Did the vanilla UI get a major revamp? This is or is this is the journey? This is Hozav's UI mod, mod Balisarius, which is why the UI looks different on the left. On The thing you see in the top right of the screen is because they've revamped the journey. Yep. Um, the the mini-map on the bottom right, the top left um, appearance, is because of Hozav's UI mod. But the journey step on the right is vanilla. Uh, okay, bit of twine. Let's make an armorer's bench. There we go. Craft a light padding. Hide and twine. Uh, wear a piece of light armor. Armors will grant you not only defensive capabilities but also shield you from the elements to some extent <laughs> yes armor may also grant additional passive effects you can now inspect how armors affect your defenses in the stats page can you so let's make um, a piece of armor there we go press J to select a journey let's press wait let's press G Stats. Carry, yeah. Okay, that hasn't changed. Hmm. Okay. 18% damage reduction. Okay. Knowledge. Let's have a look at the battle pass in a minute, actually. Um, let's claim our reward. That was easy to unlock. Armor patch kit. Okay, and it actually it just gave us that. So it gave us five armor patch kits. So hopefully we'll be able to use that to repair this without any like other mats and stuff. Um, oops. So we have 110 armor now because we found these boots. Actually, we can repair these once we get them down to a certain level. It's kind of cool. All right, I like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, expert armor is medium stuff. So we could... We could do this next. We don't have any heavy, heavy padding. Um, we don't have any heavy, uh, thick hide. We could get that from a box. If you live at Sep and Maru, um, all around Sep and Maru, there's a bunch of boxes dotted around um, where you can get like thick hide and stuff like that. You can also get it in the Unim City in some some boxes. Um, I don't know about here. Maybe in there. Um, we got a bit of armor now though. I think I'm going to do Thrall Taker next. Purple Lotus Orb. Glass orb filled with thick purple substance. Hmm, I don't know what that does. Access or place a wheel of pain. So, um, companions. We need um, wood and iron. Um... Da, 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 da. Um. More wood and more twine. Let's get some more wood. Um, let's make a set of like iron tools. Hmm, yeah. Sickle. Do I have any more branches? There's loads of branches in this area, so it's not a concern. Okay. 
Sickle. Skinning knife. We've got a pick already. Hatchet. And cleaver. Then we'll get rid of our stone items. Um, I also want to learn how to make iron daggers as well. Ponyards. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Let's make two sets of those. Get rid of our stone ones. Okay. All right. Um, we could leave our repair things in here, maybe. Maybe keep the weapon ones and leave the armor ones. Mm, do they weigh a lot? 8.75. Uh, let's put hides in our box. I really like that they've given us like a bigger box that's cheap to make, actually, because I think the um, shaped, having to make shaped wood and iron reinforcements for the other ones. I don't know. Um... Okay, so let's get plant fibre and some wood. Um, are you playing on an official server? This is a uh, single player, Commander Drakov. Um, the desert. I really like the aesthetics of Badlands. Thanks for having Alberta. I like get enough cold and f yeah, that sounds sounds reasonable. Cool. I see they're adding more helpful hints for new players. Yeah, one of kind of next or short comes is we've been like a Yeah, definitely. Yep, yep. Vanilla ice cream. <laughs> oh my god! Now I really want ice cream. I like this sip to foresty biome. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's kind of dark though. Um, that was the next question. How much? How to use mods on official server? Yeah, you can't use them on official servers. Uh, you can play on our server if you want to. Um. If you join our Discord, that's what you need to do. Go to the Conan Exiles channel, look at the pin messages. And the mods I'm currently using here are on that server, basically. Feel me to tell you what the Purple Lotus Orb does. No, I don't want you to. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Um, hello, Tem. How are you, lovely? I'll wait a couple of days for more mods to update before I check things out for myself. That sounds very reasonable, definitely. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, I, I kind of like the extra gamification of the um, the journey steps. I think it feels more fun and rewarding and, you know, certainly at this point, you know. Um, yeah. So, I, so far, I like it. How, how about you guys? What are your opinions? From what you've seen so far. Um, right, let's make a wheel. Do, 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 do. I want to keep it so that you have to hop up here so that nobody can follow me up here, basically. All right, do I have what I need? Uh, a bit more twine, let's make more twine. I seem to be too warm at the moment. Why is that? I wasn't warm before I equipped this. It's supposed to just give me protection. I mean, I am in the desert, to be fair. Uh, companions, more twine. Lots more twine. There we go. I think it's nice when you play single player and you can kind of tweak things a little bit more to your liking. Crafting speed is like a pain in the butt, really. Okay, let's pop this here for now. Ba -da -da -da. There we go. Craft a truncheon. Hmm, so we can make a crappy truncheon. We need some leather for that. So do we switch to the tanner? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Tanner, 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 tanner. Um, ah, it takes off that because it knows we've done it. Still have to skin a corpse. Okay, let's go skin a corpse. Ba -ba 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 -ba. There are some people over here. 
Um, of course, it's going to be struck. I don't know if it has to be a, a human. All right, we got two. Oh, the guy's lost interest. Perfect. I don't want to put points into agility because um, I'm going to have to respec. There you go. Skin a corpse. Okay, it can be an animal. Use a pick to get bark. Okay. Da, 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 da. See, we had already done that. So I feel like that should already be populated. TBH. Bark is required for your tanneries and acts as a desiccant. You can gather bark by using a pick to harvest trees. Equip a pick and swing it at trees with left mouse. I mean, why isn't it happy about this? So this is buggy, I think. Um, and it was with the, the iron as well. This is buggy because I'm using a pick to get bark right now. Do you know what I mean? Let's just do something else and like go back to it. Give it a chance to like refresh. Meanwhile, we're getting XP. Gathering lots of hide, which is kind of helpful. We'll get more hide now because you've got this iron skinning knife. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The better display of the journey steps and reward system is quite enjoyable. Mm. Love the new journey system modders have, have even made their own. That sounds wonderful. Um, if only had a gold bikini to wear instead of perhaps a desert heat would be tolerable. Alas. Alas. Yes. Alas. Soon. Soon. Probably. Um, okay, let's try again to get bark. I mean, I don't understand. Maybe if I go and hit one of the dry trees, it'll work. But this is definitely a bug, because I'm using a pick to get bark. Like, and it doesn't give me a quantity that I need to get. Let's run over to, like, the, um, the dried trees section. How is the audio today, chat? Is it okay? I know I ask you regularly, but I've been doing lots of tweaks to it recently. Is it alright? Volume's okay. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Look, use a pick to get bark. It's not working. I mean, we need the bark. Maybe if we switch to a different... Um, that is very suspicious that one of those is going to be a one skull. No, they got bored halfway through running. Um, you can't hear me ruffle. Autobands, JK. Um, let's switch to another journey step and see if we can fix it. Switch journey. Switch journey. Let's try and see if we can fix it. Da -da. Maybe it's because it gave us the Skinner make a stone tool uh, journey step normal trees maybe need a stone pick okay, let's try that maybe you're right no no we tried the normal trees lovely yeah we tried the normal trees and then I went to try the dry trees we've done it we've like harvested loads of trees Hello, Starbird. Welcome back, lovely. You drink some water. Hmm. Hmm. Well, the stone pick doesn't work. The iron pick doesn't work. Hmm. Wonder if it requires a specific amount, but it isn't showing. I mean, I've harvested a bunch of trees. I couldn't get the journey steps to complete from picking aloe pants. Maybe it's just finicky. Hmm. Let's keep harvesting. See if it. See if we can get it to, to work. Hmm. 
like that they're now explained, but really don't like that you have to do them in Funcom's order. Yeah. I agree. They should be populated um, with the things you've already done, I think. I think that's kind of, you know, feels a bit like a waste, waste of your time a little bit. Definitely. Being affected by the terrain levels here. We are getting so many levels just from harvesting these windows. Some more points into strength, I suppose. Maybe authority as well would be kind of handy. Let's harvest some bodies. Yeah, I don't know, chat. I don't know what to do. Squirrel. I did a few steps in the road and, and some completely retroactively as I stumbled my way in the exile lands. Yeah. Yeah. Shall we craft a, a stone skinning knife? I don't know, chat, because it populated that. I'm just wondering how to fix it. Um, like it, it, it accepted this one because we were well past this. Maybe because this was part of another journey step. Mm. Use a pick to get bark. We've done it. Well, we'll place a tannery anyway. Fun combi, fun combi, yeah. My blood pick completed the bark step last night. Mm. Oh, poopies. Some enemy friendos. Go after the hyena. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. Oh, not me. Oh, he wants to get me. You will never return to your den. That's what you say. Oh, 200 friendos. Very scary. Go away. <laughs> Whimper in terror, fool. Okay. Can I do it later, though? We do have a passive uh, health regen because we have the first perk in Vitality. You used to have to have three perks have in that, which was like kind of expensive <laughs> and quite an important marker in the game. <laughs> oh. I don't have any health stuff on my um, hotbar at the moment, which is an oversight on my part. <laughs> Just have a quick snacky. Excuse me, sir. Can I just grab myself some health pots? See, it's like nothing ever happened. He's just gone back now. It's like... <laughs> he's gone back to his family. Oh, I haven't got any aloe on me. Okay. I could make some wraps, but... Seeps. Game throws in a journey quest. Player starts doing it. We can discuss it later when you get, when you get home, yeah. Um, always keep meads on your hot bar. You didn't write exclamation mark BS. Yeah. So the server details in the pin message in Discord from September. Yeah, it's the same server. That's why. There are there are updates above it. Um, it's the same server. It's just been modded since. And there's a message about the mods above it. Ba -dum. Ba -da -dum. Well, let's use the dry wood for that. Well, we'll make a tanning rack anyway. Uh, feet, 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 feet. I think we already learnt it actually, if I remember correctly. Smithing uh, stone is all I need. And I have some stone already. Bum, 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 
か。うん。Where should we put you? Next to the armor, eh? Put some hide in there and some bark. It's not going to give me any like. <laughs> it's not going to like accept it. You didn't do it in the order I have prescribed to you. I shall not give you credit. I shall ignore you completely. Um, am I just going to say sod it and just start doing things my own like the way I want to? Do I need some more wood? Ba -dum. Ba -da -dum. Let's leave the stone behind. That lasting feast is doing God's work, isn't it? Um, I want some wood. I don't know. Am I like? We'll I have to do it all again. <laughs> The only thing in Hillix. Yeah, thank you for that. 1k. It's, listen, this is a different game. We don't have a 6k command, do we? Uh, I don't really want to advertise that I've got 6,000 hours in this game, though, which is why I never mention it. Um. Da -da, da -da -da. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bit of wood. Uh, it's a visual bug still. That bright purple pop there. It's been here since... I don't know. For certain things. We had it in the wall maker, I remember. The ground was like... Had that kind of texture issue. Da -da -da. We've been coping so far with the amount of wood we've got in this area. If you wanted to make a big base and stuff like that, you would struggle a bit. Uh... What do I want? Why did I want wood, chat? Squirrel. I would like to make some more armor and things. Um, we were going to make a truncheon, weren't we? Should we go back to Thrall Taker, given that the tanning thing isn't working? Bam, bam. Pardon. Craft a truncheon, craft bind. Oh, I was going to make a tanning bench, wasn't I? To strip stuff. I might still do that. Hannah's table. Nice. Let's strip all this stuff that we have. Mm -hmm. ba -dum. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, let's. We need to make a. torturer's bench. We can't do that yet though, can we? Can we? We're at level 22. We're probably not ready to do that. Level 30. Okay, so for now we just have to make do with this or we could try and make... Ah, this is why we wanted to do it. We wanted to make some leather. Okay, so we're skinning the stuff. Let's make it into leather. Alright, then we can make a truncheon. Since mounting the bench is one of my favourite things in the game, such an ass save now and again. Yeah. Age <laughs> 54. Corner. Corner landsman. Besides the night day duration, did you tweak anything on your service settings? There's no XP change. Harvesting is two times. Um, you mean on the server? itself oh you mean here on this game because night day duration isn't changed on the server this is single player 
Um, I haven't. There's no like XP is the same, damage is the same as official, damage received is the same. Everything's vanilla. Yeah, crafting speed is fast. Harvesting is two times um, like yield. Um, nighttime is now vanilla because of the, the um, because of the eclipse. Everything is the same. Otherwise, everyone has over fifty four years of breathing experience. Excuse me, I'm not fifty four. You turd wallet. <laughs> How dare you? Come down on the advice. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Right, I've got some leather. Uh, let's make a truncheon. I need some plant fiber. But um, if you're 54, it's fine, by the way. But I'm just. Uh, let's make two. Let's make some fiber bindings. Um, I'm going to make an axe. Because I want to start knocking people out and I want a bit of survivability. So I think we're going to make an iron axe. Definitely for this stage of the game, we've got pretty much what we need around us. Two axes, because I always like to make two for durability. Oh, gosh. Um, we'll leave the leather. Uh, we could maybe make another... Make, a, make the light... Paints. Light padding, twine. Boom. Okay. We'll get more carry capacity if we use this stuff. Shoes, hands, and the, the wrap. We've seen one eclipse, thought it was an occurrence. It's every night now on Exxon Lands. It's not on Sipta. Okay. Light armor. Um, and each piece gives us carry capacity, which is kind of handy. Mind you, that gives us 17 armor. That gives us three armor. Oh, God. Okay, we'll wear those heavy boots. Okay. I mean, we could make a helmet, but it doesn't make much difference. It'll hide our nice hair. we got truncheons. And ropes. We've got heels on t two places on our hotbar. We've got snacks, because snacks keep us alive. Okay, excellent. We got a wheel. Um, can you join Xbox app on PC or must it be Steam? Via Xbox app. Steam, yep. I misread, so you can join with the app, but mods make it challenging. Mm, they meant from Xbox, not on PC. Ah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's see what we can do. Let's let's. So we could knock out one of these people over there. I think there's a couple of them who are, what do you call them? Oh, fighters. Gosh. Speaking is hard sometimes. But, uh, fighter. Merchant, 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 fighter. Ooh, 360 health. Yeah, if I can just fight one of them at a time. I've got no points in authority. Ooh. That is going to be a... Uh, Hiding to nothing. Oh, the other guy's coming now. All right, let's give up on that for now. And this is an unmodded weapon. Listen, Pokey Peterson. 
Oh, she's coming. See, if you just pop yourself in the wheel. <laughs> I'd really appreciate that. <laughs> okay, we might need to rethink this. Maybe we'll make blunted javelins. But, um, let's make blunted javelins then, in that case. I don't know if they're any good anymore, but they used to be my preferred early game Fuendo maker. Uh, pokey, pokey, pokey. Hmm. There they are. We're just at the right level for them. Let's make a few. We're not going to throw them. Okay. So maybe we need to put some points in authority as well because we were not doing much. Uh, an authority should affect um, the amount of concussive damage you do. So maybe we make a... F let's make a fireball cauldron. Um, is, there a, is there a journey thingy for that? There is, isn't there? Fireball. Yeah. Do it so that we track it. Access or place a fireball cauldron. Let's equip our construction hammer. Crafting alchemy. Uh, iron and twine. So much twine. Okay. It's not that, is it? It's the um it's the alchemist bench now. Oh, span style italic. Oh, I have seen that mentioned. That little f problem. Uh, we need wood and stone. Well I guess that's the expensive one, isn't it? 50 iron. Let's, we may as well place this for the journey step. Okay. Yeah, then we need to do the bench. Okay, let's get some wood and stone. Ba -da, ba -da -da. Yeah, if you're getting like bits of like wood at a time for each thing that you're doing, um then which is what i tend to do because i get bored easily like i don't want to stay i mean sometimes i do if i'm like not streaming then I, maybe i will um i'll just go and get loads of wood or go get loads of stone or something certainly later on in the game um but you know i'll put on, like a youtube video or something and entertain myself but when i'm streaming i don't want to just hit stone for like freaking hours <laughs> um uh, trying out a No Man's Sky cabbie service is going to be interesting. Hello, Mike. Hello. Potential friendos. Let the person switch from Xbox Game, game Pass to Steam. Also, do some monsters on sale on Steam. Best time to pick it up. Mm. This isn't going to give us regular wood. Let's go get these trees over here. There's a there's actually a decent amount of trees. Um, when, when you get to, like, making your, like, late game benches and things like that, you need a lot more. And you can, by that point, you can use map rooms and teleport and, you know go to God's Claw Passage is my favourite place. Because there's, um, there's loads of iron and stone there and then there's loads of like... Hello. <laughs> um, and there's like loads of trees as well nearby. There he is. Are you going to be a... Oh, doesn't have glowy eyes. He is. That's a one skull. That is a one skull. He will demolish us. Made probably in one hit. I'm pretty sure that is the one skull. Yeah. Oh yeah, you see this guy next to me. This is a no skull. We can kill him. We could probably kill the other one. But we'd have to be really careful not to get hit at all. Oh, 
Unfortunately, he's like dipped out. Ta-da! I like blunt arrows, but really realized after several gruesome murders I need to use the lowest level bow. Yes, exactly. I don't like to use blunt as arrows because I just don't like seeing the health go down so much. It kind of scares me. Imagine if I placed a cursed tree out here. It'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Like in the middle of the pond or something. It might be kind of cool. Downloading time for shower. See you, see you, see you soon, humans. Okay. Good luck. Got tough knowledge to learn, yeah. I stopped using the arrows like a long time ago and also you can't like uh, you used to be able to climb something and shoot them and they would lose even if they lost aggro they would still keep the torpidity loss or torpidity that you had given them uh, the torpor um, do I have enough wood? probably da -da -da. Need to change it so that high level bows just increase getting custom. Yeah, definitely. With a with a blunted thing. Mmm. Yep. Don't forget to equip your Meganyard. Yeah. But but gets to equip your Meganyard. Thank you, Batspot. Bad Bad so far, the sandstorm has gone past us. Every time. We haven't had any problems. Bird spot. <laughs> the greatest troll of all. Okay, I was going to make an alchemist bench. I'm very proud of myself for remembering that. Well done, brain. Well, we are, we're out of space, so maybe we'll do like an alchemy section outside. Harvest aloe leaves. Come on. I've already done that. I'm not going to make that anyway. I mean, I guess I will, but... Okay, we want to make yellow lotus potion to respec and put some points into authority. And I feel like I picked up some. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ba -da -ba -da. Ba -da -da. And the hides. Uh, okay. I think is it is it ten I need? I feel like it's ten. Yeah. Yeah, well, now that we've got a sickle, we'll collect some more. Okay, we have to drink it straight away. Now this without a crafter or without in this bench, it just takes so long to craft and you can forget about it. <laughs> it's like cooking in Valheim. And then it expires in 1 minute 55. Yeah. So now we've reset our points. Let's do... Um, I guess like the first perk. Uh, um, I guess. How am I doing for weight here? Fine. I don't need any point in, points in... In weight, technically speaking. Uh, tools lose durability half as quickly. The main thing is about weight. We're wearing like weight like uh, stuff. I'm probably going to go grit because my stamina is going to be important for my survivability. Okay. Let's try again. It's dramatic music. Dying Light 2 is on Steam sale. I will wait till it's 70% off. I have Dying Light 2. I played it very briefly. I actually did a stream on it. I don't think I put it on YouTube, actually. I don't think so. Um, and it didn't. It wasn't performing very well. Um, I tried to get my money back from Steam at the time, and it, they, would, they said no, because it was, like, just over the time or whatever. So at some point... At some point, I might go back to that. So I'm left-clicking on this... I'm going for this guy because I can go off the edge and I can also, also he's an archer and I just want to test my metal really. Can you not go towards your friends please? Uh, 
I mean... I know the guy's going to take my health down quite quickly. Maybe... I don't want to go for the Kitan people because one of them's got a pokey stick. Okay, you, sir. Don't be afraid. Okay, I'm going to make a bunch of... A bunch of aloe potions, I guess. Hmm... To pick up, pick off somebody. There are sorcerers around the campfire. What do we got? Tier one. You got bored. He didn't like you that much. Nice thing is he does have these slow, have you slow attacks. There, We're definitely doing more torpidity damage with the blunted javelins and a bit of authority. Have you nothing better, Be careful. Pop? He's no berserker or anything, but... You know, a two-handed sword is still going to do a fair bit. We barely have any armor. You will never return to your death. I was hitting roll sooner than that. My claws are sharp, pup. Are yours? I don't want to talk about my claws, thanks, buddy. Let's just chip him down. I don't want to go too far because if they run back they'll gain all their torpidity or lose all their torpidity or whatever. Come on you. Let's be friendos. I just want to befriend you. I shall not. You'll never take me alive, sir. Hang on a minute. I thought you were trying to steal us. My teeth will taste you. I have faith. The AoE on the freaking two-handed swords is really quite punishing. Better pup. No. <laughs> That's the point. Otherwise I'd go for it. <laughs> I'd go for somebody better. We're gonna go for a Delincy or something, but I wouldn't mind a, a distractor friendo. Whimper in terror, fool. There we go, we got one knocked out. I'm gonna go for both of these probably. You will never return to your dead. If you have a lot of stamina. Fortunately, he has like a long gap after he does his slice down. Go on, buddy. Sleepy times. Sleepy times. Sleepy times. This is why I wanted plenty of grit. Oh no, his friend. Sorry, your friend is coming. Nope. His friend forgot about him. My claws are sharp, pup. Are you? I'm gonna have to deal with these funny voice lines because of this dogs in the desert camp. There you go. There you go. Sleepy times. All right. Hopefully the other guy doesn't like forget about. Okay, tip. Right, we'll take the tier two. Friendship needs more authority. One down, yeah. Back in the day, just being five or six years away, oh, I missed a bit. We have um, t taming speed on incredibly fast, but I'm not gonna. Let's just let's just go pick up the other guy first. 
Oh, chat. Bloody single player. Right, let me run away and come back again. He should still be there. Hopefully, it's, yeah. Uh, we, we need to drink. Good old swish, swish of drink. If I run away. So, on a server, usually my preferred thing is just to relog because I can stay exactly where I know the body is and I don't have to worry about somebody coming in and stealing it. Um, but in single player, if you do that, it just resets everybody. So, I'm just going to run away and come back and hopefully he's lying there. Who is that? What are you doing there? They just respawned. Yeah, he's here anyway. We got two windows. So the opinion Jenny should point to getting skulls or sorcerers are kept as decent. Yeah, I suppose. There we go. Two windows. We can't take both at the same time. Dead and deader, what should we call them, chat? What do you have? He's got a two-handed steel sword. That is freaking pog champ, if I can say that as a boomer. All right. Um, and he's got a falcata. 29 and 8. 34 and 20. That is very nice. That is what I would be trying to make him. <laughs> We've done really well to get him. Um, we could do with arming, armoring him up a bit. He does have 693 health, which is better than a kick in the teeth. Um, hmm. I don't have any armor for you, friend. And I could... Hmm. I could do with some snacks for you. Let me get some snacks. Ba -da 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 -da. You can have the grilled steak. I'll eat the other stuff. Keep the staff happy. Could make him... I could make him some armour. We could give him some light boots, which will make a huge difference. Oh, we could use those brawler wraps, couldn't we? We need to get some thick hide. There are elephants around here, but oh my word. Um, you're going to get killed, bud. Three armour. You're welcome. <laughs> Maybe we'll see if we can do a bit of reconnoitering. If we can find some thick hide in um, in a box or something. Or we could kill a rhino, maybe. This is like rhino country. Hmm. Hmm. Center. It's his name. Um, uh, if you want to join the server, just join the Discord. Uh, go to the Conex I'll channel, look at the pinned messages. Uh, rhinos. Mm. Is there an advantage to the blunted javelin? It's just better. It's so much better to try it compared to the uh, the, like, the early thing. Um, the fact that you can spam it uh, with left click is really good. I've seen a lot of streamers doing the dances entertaining, I have to admit. Direct question, does anyone prefer to put the effort in on the javelin dance we experienced or get a Delincia? Um, so the main point of it is there's a journey step to throw somebody, generally speaking. Uh, I enjoy doing that, basically. Um, yeah. I enjoy the, it's it's a big part of the game. Getting your first thralls is a big part of the game for me. I am going to use the headhunter event, but I'm still going to go do the bat caves, um, which I missed doing on Sipta. Up here, which is where you get the black blood tools. I got a video about that on the YouTube channel. Loads of guides over there if you don't know. Um, yeah, I want to do the game. Like I want to play the game. Definitely, I enjoyed watching it too. It's fun. Yeah, it's fun. It's a challenge, isn't it? 
Um, I haven't used my axe in any bit yet. Ba -bum. Ba -da -bum. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. Come and fight me, brother. Let me use my axe. <laughs> I love the axe. It's so good. Ooh, volatile gland. Nice. So if we can try and kill people around the edge of the camp first, that's usually the best way. There is a there are a lot of people grouped together around that campfire, which is where the sorcerer is. Can I throw that orb? Get a journey step. The annoying thing is, the annoying thing is, I should get a journey step for that. I have to find the journey step, and um, in order to get credit for it, that's I. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know, Chet. J j the jury is out. Let's fight these people. Like I can definitely take these people one, one on one, with my axe. There is a blacksmith that spawns in here. I've got a named person from here before. I'm going to try and get a, a tier 3 though. This is why I love the axe so much. It's just so freaking good. Is that bone broth presumably? Oh, I got some gloves. Doesn't this give concussive damage as well? And follower damage. Oh yeah. Freaking nice. So we'll loot these. Take some snackies. The only thing is it's gonna affect my weight. So we'll save those. Um because they'll give us extra concussive damage and extra extra follower damage. Um you can learn to craft that um recipe near the galleon, the black galleon. Alright, I'm gonna pick off the people at the sides of the camp. Come after me, sir. Buying tier four makes it too easy. Yeah, there's a, there's a sorcerer. I just want to fight you, sir. I should equip the hyena fur gloves. It's so good, the blunted javelin. Firespark did a video about this about a bajillion years ago. It's just like S tier. It's so good early game. It just does so much more than um, the uh, the truncheon shitting hell. What? <laughs> oh god. They have changed the surprise Mother Hubbard animation of the rhino. <laughs> so I wonder if I can kill the rhinos to get blood crystals. Um. I feel like, oh, I feel like I saw something. This is so cool. Okay, we've already got a, a, a sorcerer. Let's go turn him in. Ba -da. My first thing I want is an axe. The axe of the lion. Ba -da. We've got nine obelisks. We don't need thralls, chat. <laughs> was, what was that? What Was that a blood crystal thing without spell? I don't know. Oh, is it sorcery I need to do to get to get blood crystals? I don't know. I just saw a rhino. Um, uh, God, words fail me sometimes. I saw a rock nose. It came out the ground and it was like, I don't know. I can go fight it and see what happens. He like surprised surprised me. There he is. <gasps> it's a blood. He's got a blood crystal thingy on him. Are you going to hurt me? Oh, the elephant wants to hurt him. Yeah, you fight each other. That's perfect. Sometimes on that rock, there's a one skull, like, light a tiger. Right, I'm going to third party here. Nope, don't hit me. Nope. Can I get blood crystals from you, sir? Don't spoil it, chat. 
Let me let me learn myself. Hey, listen, you were fighting each other. Don't forget about me. I mean, don't forget about him. Don't fight me. What? Excuse me. Don't redirect your anger. Hey, that's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay together. Fight each other, and then I'll I'll kill whoever survives. <laughs> Hmm. You can only get some thralls from the carts. You can only get some thralls from the carts, really? Sounds could do with thrall cages like Scepter to get tier 1 and 3 early on. You have to kill the jailer so it's not too easy. Yeah? Yeah, I like the game loop. Oh god, why? Listen, I'm just observing. I'm entirely friendly. If he wants to hit you, me and that ele elephant are working together now. No, nope, excuse me. <laughs> He's got like ADHD, hasn't he? Squirrel. Uh, not, like, take him down. It's perfect. Um, girl fight, take the win home. Hope this is not a burger that keeps happening. Finally got Delincia. Too bad I have I already have an army of berserkers. And it is like Sir Dave filming it. A Nate to documentary, that's it, yeah. I'm not here to interfere, chat. It's very important I don't interfere. I know that the, the little like creature is cute and you don't want it to get killed by the snake. But you know, it's important that like we leave. <laughs> this is exactly how David Attenborough speaks, obviously. It's really important that we like leave nature to like, you know, do its thing and, and whatnot. I know, it's a flawless David Attenborough impression. It's a gift, what can I say? <laughs> well, so far, the elephant is winning. He's got good blunt damage, I think, with his stomp. This is where a, a tiger comes and kills us. Go on. Go on, who's going to win? We could get our daggers ready in case we need to kill an elephant. Yeah, those high unit fur gloves are going to be handy. Should we leave them to it and um, try and get a sorcerer? <laughs> of course, the other ones are winning, like, for all, has a gazillion HP, yeah. Yeah, it does have a gazillion HP. Should we help him? We are not doing a lot to that guy. So we need the elephant's help. We could do with our mace, couldn't we? No, 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 not me. Not me, buddy. He's kind of bigger, isn't he? What have I... Wait, I just saw a... Um... I love this three... Wait. I'm doing three damage to him. What? I'm doing three damage per hit with my axe. Do I not have any points in in strength? I do have points in strength. Whoa, 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 whoa. listen. Listen, listen. We can talk about it. Both must die. Tried to jump on its head and use a pickaxe. <laughs> I love it. You also need thick hide for the journey step too. Yeah, that's true, I do. And not just for the journey step, but I need it for like armor for my friendo. I am doing three damage to this guy with my axe. That is appalling. He may have really high armor more than normal rockness, yeah. I guess I need to use my maul, but I don't have my maul with me for Sunder. Can I make one in my inventory? Bear with. Everybody just keep keep fighting. Bear with. Bear with. <laughs> Bear with. <laughs> Better. Better. Ah. 
10, 11, 12. Ooh, so much damage. Listen! <laughs> That's much better. Greater blood crist. Greater! A greater one. Right, now you and me, friend. It's going to take so long. So the, the rock nose should stay there for 30 minutes, apparently. Yeah, this is much better. Tick damage for the win. Listen, I love all creatures. I just want to let you know that. And I was rooting for you. I'm glad you won. You know what I mean? If only because I, I was much more affected at fighting you than him. I respect you as a fighter, as a creature. I think you have an incredible nose. Do you know what I mean? It's better than all the other elephants. You stamp in attack is very cute and also fearsome, terrifying. I feel like this guy is easier to kill than those woolly mammoths on Sipta, which take an eternity to kill. Oh yeah. Am I gonna, do I need anything special to harvest this guy? Shall I use a pick? Um, he may be her man. Deathwing Spire Kitan. Seal the momentum ascended to do maybe six damage per hit. That was quite fast. It was quite fast, wasn't it? Are we using our pick? <gasps> I got 24 blood crystals. Chat. I'm like a beast. Right, let's skin this mofo. That's cool. Well, if he, like, respawns here. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay. Now we have that age-old problem of... What do I dump on the ground? Uh, am I wearing, like... Wait, I could patch some stuff. Bear with. Let me just patch up my feet. Because my toes might get cold if my shoes break. Um, and my hands. Unable to repair it more. Okay, you can only get it up to a certain point. Ooh, I can repair that. Let's get rid of these truncheons. Okay, amazing. I can't believe we got blood crystals. I feel like we only needed like 20 for that transportery thing. Uh, no, there isn't. Please do join this, the Discord though, because I do announcements on the Discord about when the server's going down, any changes happening. That's all I ask if, if you could just be on the on the Discord as well. So look at the, look at the joining instructions in there. So that's all it is. Free to join otherwise. Oh, chat. This has been so exciting. Oh, I see a sorcerer. And I see... I thought I saw a bearer, but all I see is somebody with their feet sticking out in the air. What is that about? Are you named? <laughs> no. Shall I knock you out? Might have a bit more survivability. If I so one of the nice things about this camp here is you can get a named bearer. Everybody's dead there. Okay. Oh gosh. Right. Let's knock out this person. And then we'll knock out the sorcerer. The other people seem to be dead. Maybe a tiger. You do get tigers wandering in here. Let me equip these um, gloves. Oh god, weight is a problem. Okay. Okay. 
stats. Concussive damage. Does it say concussive damage? Damage. 30% concussive damage. Okay, where is this person? Come fight me, friend. Because your other friend is, like, less good. Come on. You can get them it like backed up. We're doing very little, but we can chip away at them. Right. If you could derp out, I'd like super appreciate that. Halfway. I like it. The stun from the blunted javelin is just so freaking good. The fact that you can do it for ages. We'll get this one. Um, I might knock them out and leave them here. And then see if I can knock out that sorcerer before his friends respawn. Because his friends are going to be a pain in the butt. And I'm going to try and get a named bearer for this playthrough. We can go around with a Delincia and a named bearer with this. It's going to be really nice. Okay, right, down. I don't have any iron on me, but I always carry a bunch of these blunted javelins. Right, he's seen me. I can kill anybody else who gets in my way. Oh, are you going to be a... Okay, let's kill you. I've had named bearers from this camp before. Named bearers. Uh, blacksmiths. The axe is mighty. Okay. He's respawned. Yeah, let's try and get that bear, that sorcerer before his friends return. I want my ropes on the on the hot bar. I got heels. Try not to aggro anybody else. Around this little campfire, you get bearers. It's kind of a good one to like visit on your way through. When you if we go to the galleon, and then you go to the den. And run between them to try and get bearers. Someone has seen us. Try not to run towards them. Oh, pokey people. Oh, God. Oh, pokey people. So annoying. Oh, God. Do you nothing better, pup? Listen. Stop smack talking. I, I wish it was the same as it used to be, where they would um, keep the torpidity damage. Um, I'm going to have to go kill that other guy. Oh, the bearer's back. Not a named one. You can always tell if it's named, because they'll be wearing light armour like we're wearing. If it's a named bearer. Right, let's go around the edges and kill everybody. Ooh, sorcerer, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect, tier one. <laughs> Perfect, perfect, perfect. Even better. Yes! Score. Right, let's turn them in. Da -da. Da -da. Maybe because we're doing so much damage with our axe, we should try and get a combatant first. I do really like the loop of getting a crappy fighter, upgrading them to a slightly better fighter, and a better one and a better one, and then getting them to help you and... Um, let's take some stuff home because we're over encumbered. He'll forget about us. It's fine. Let's put our gloves on. Let's take some stuff home. It's going well. Has anyone been able to progress complete the alchemist journey steps? I haven't, uh, have, I've got to the stage of like aloe. Uh, on Excel Discord thread pin the same 
on the Exile Discord thread, pin the name of the server to not just IP port the later. Never worked for me, but I joined for the third chapter when you posted the name and it appeared. I don't understand that, Eid. The latter never worked. When you posted the name, it worked. I don't understand that. Uh, if you if you use the joining uh, like instructions that I've given, then that does work. If it doesn't appear for you, then it doesn't appear for you, but it does work. Find these caravans to be overpowered. They are, definitely. Yeah. <sighs> right, let's keep stuff on us. We don't need all these tools. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Um, uh, yeah, take her. Bought four combat tools on the trade with you last night too. From today, from different trade caravans, not just Dillinger. So just change them with the mod you have. In game, that's such a good mod. Hmm. Um. You change them. How did you? How did you change them? Hello, Starbang. Uh, I think it just meant mean to add the server name. It's a much, if you want to find the server, it's much easier to search for the name of the server in game. Absolutely. Kyle, thank you for the follow. It's better to farm them for our chemical base than tier fours than it is to go into the volcano. It's better to farm them, what, the caravans for our chemical base and tier fours than it is to go into the volcano. What is the, what is the point about the volcano? What's your point? Um... Okay, let's leave our blood crystal here. Da, 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 da. Got 20 obelisks now. Mm, let's repair our uh, javelin. What I like about it is it does give you um, like gameplay, extra gameplay, you know. I don't have the expertise because I respect Oh, yeah. This is the problem with respecting. Thank goodness on this, um, on this map, we can learn the potion of bestial memory. Hello, freaking Luya. Let's relearn some things. Um, all right, bits and bobs, things and stuff. Got my knives to be able to repair those. Um. Sometimes you can get kind of lost after this. On them, um, I think I've mentioned this before, but on console, it's it's much easier on PC to like switch between different screens like this because you can move the mouse around. It's always a bit of a pain. Right, so repair. There we go. We could also repair them with the weapon kits, actually. Okay. Yeah, the only problem is like picking stuff up um, from the uh, caravan. You end up over encumbered, kind of suddenly. Okay, no best place for gold for the win. Um, oh, because of the gold. Okay, yes. I don't know why I just I was blanking. Why you were talking about the, the volcano? Yeah, yeah. I love the volcano. Anyway, it's like super fun. Um, I like to farm tier 3 alchemists. Uh, i got to take my jumper off. I do like, yeah, tier 3 alchemists for um, alchemical... Um, bearers, sorry, for alchemical base. I'm too warm and so my brain has stopped working. Do you ever have that chat? Oh, all right. Yeah, I love the... I love the volcano because I mainly go there for, for ash, you see. I don't know why I was, like, blanking. Okay, let's kill some people. Uh. 
A little spot there where they seem to always fall into textures. Apologies. Right, we're after sorcerers. Hello, pokey person. Yeah, we're going to need to get some more aloe, which is a journey step, but uh, we should take the iron from these people. Ba -da, ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum. Can I aggro one of you instead of both of you? That would be ideal. That could easily be a tier three. You know, it's a tier two. Oh, it is a tier three bearer. Oh, I want them. The sorcerer guy is going to have daggers, which is a pain. Um, the bearer will have an axe. Oh, yeah. Can I, like, fight you one at a time? You're a tier one, which is perfect for me. I'm going to throw all that tier three and carry them around with me. Oh, they've got a mace. Oh. La lo um, they don't get interrupted as often, they have hyper armor. Which is why the arena champion is so scary, although this person doesn't hit anywhere. <laughs> doesn't, it just like barely tickles this compared to the arena champion, but the, th the, th the theory is there. Okay, you are gonna sleep. Hang on a minute. Come on now. Get my stam up. Hello, Fight Now. How are you, lovely? How goes your day? Come on, sleepy times. Right. Both of you, I want. I'm going to take the tier three first because they're more important to me. Carry, friendo. Friendo. I don't want to. I don't want to push them too far away from here because I don't want them to suddenly run back. I don't like her voice. I wonder if I can change that on the Improved Quality of Life mod. I think I probably can. You know, if you ever have one of these people who's like... You get like a proper screamer. Do you ever have that on this game? <laughs> you get a thrill and someone's like, Oh, you've got a screamer then. That one's a screamer, isn't it? They just kind of go, ah! <laughs> Try not to scream down the microphone. <laughs> Like this voice just won't deal with it. She sounds like she's doing serious damage to her throat here. Sleepy times. Come on, boom. Sleepy, sleepy. I love this part of the game. I really do. Kind of don't want to. I don't know. I kind of. If we get a Delincia, I might just keep her in a box. You know what I mean? I don't know, chat. I can taste your stench. Oi! That is really, really weird, if nothing else. <laughs> um, I mean, it's a lot of thralls seem to lose their feet, especially in the house. Hello, Fixer. Thralls lose their feet. Oh, you mean like sinking into the, the textures? I'm very pleased we got this. Frickin' tier 3 bearer. Put them with the collection. Very nice. Tier 3 bearer. Okay. We do also have an iron mace now, which will be kind of handy for fighting the... Um, that uh, rock nose if he respawns. Right, you can stay there. I prefer to... Like, the first things that I knock out, I just prefer to, you know do it by myself just because everybody else like dies generally well i could put my thralls here and kite out enemies and then just have everybody with truncheons it's going to be a good old time chat um uh, 
yeah, you can. It's so useful and nice. Yeah. All good assignment in a day early. Nice. I'm choosing myself to an early night. Who thought that would be a reward someday? You're just a boomer now, not a fight now. What can I say? That's it. Getting old. That's it. Sleep is like, oh, yes. So good. Right. Um, I have to run away for the sorcerer to reappear here, won't I? I think. Yep. Is the tier three person still around here? Is that this one? Let's grab them. We just do. Oh, there they are. There's the sorcerer. Okay, let's take this tier three and we'll get them. <laughs> Caravans are there, at least in my single player. Uh, yeah, they are. Apparently they're still there till the end of chapter three. Um, I don't know if, but um, yeah. Like, are, are they in exactly the same places always? I mean, all of them. They've just got different loot. Oh, hello there. <laughs> I see. Oh no, they're going to kill it. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Cannot em emote. You idiots. It's going to be a great old time, I said. <laughs> They woke up, I think, and they followed us in. Seems so, okay. But I think, so I haven't been to any of the ones I've been to before. Um, is that another fighter? What is it? Just a dead person. Okay. Uh, let's turn the skull in, I suppose. We got a nice little collection of people. Homeboys do what homeboys do. Kill intruders. Steel fire and demon blood. Coins. Uh, I'm kind of sad about that sorcerer, but they'll respawn pretty quickly. I'm very happy that we got ourselves a tier 3 bearer. I don't know how they level now. Um, da -da. Group them all, then sleep them. Group them all, then sleep them. Da -da 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 -da. Let me put you, like, indoors, friends. Because you are, like, precious to me. There we go. All right. What are we going to do? Do I want to get a combatant or a worker? Shall we try and get a worker? <sighs> if only because getting it like a named person is kind of OP. Presti, I did Presti, yeah. This is where we are on the map, by the savannah in, uh, what is it, G7. Yep, yep. Uh, the store thing seems nice, hidden room doors. Yeah, very jam packed this update, which is good. What if you equip them with blunt javelins and truncheons? Uh, blunted javelins, they won't use properly, I don't think, because you have to use a left, a light attack on blunted javelins. I could give them truncheons, definitely. That's literally what I was just saying. We could, um, we'll have them all there. Like lined up. Better. Let's drink some water. I wonder if that rock nose will respawn over here. Ooh, blacksmith is respawned. What are you, lady? Hey there, tier one. We're gonna have such a good like I am assuming we can get I don't know what which blacksmith I could get here, but if I can get a good one. It's really only the Temper Smith that I care too much about, I suppose. On Exad Lands anyway. Um on Sipter I really want to be able to craft um really good weapons because you get really good recipes. And so the bladesmith, I think, is probably the one that I care about. Uh, Mr. Gibbons, welcome in. Thank you for the raid. Thank you, uh, raiders, for coming into the stream. Welcome, raiders. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for the raid. How are you doing? Have you been playing Conan today? Welcome, welcome, one and all. Hello, Saudad. Saudad? How do I say that? Welcome. Thank you, Cal. Good to see you. Oh, the sorcerer is here. Oh, yes. Beauty. Okay, perfect. 
Um, my name's Anna Briella. I have Sow is okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, I have about 6,000 hours of this game. Um, I have a lot of uh, stuff on my YouTube channel. If you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, loads of guides and stuff. And um, we're exploring this chapter three with a fresh playthrough, which is very exciting to me. I love a fresh playthrough of a survival game. Um, I also play Valheim and things like that. Uh, Dr. Afsan, thank you for the follow. M Mr. Gibbons, thank you for the follow. You've been at Conan for the first time. Ah, uh, have a great evening. All right, have a good evening to you too. If you press T, you have an option. We did that, Blyker. Yep, I was doing that, but it didn't work, unfortunately. Um, bestest Conan channel about. You guys, stop it. They'll think I'm paying you. Checks, checks on the way. Checks on the way. Shh, quiet. Keep it down. Bless you. Yeah, so we're kind of like, we're level 23 at the moment. We're kind of like gathering people and whatnot. I have a thrall in my inventory right now. We're, we're knocking people out the legitimate way, currently, instead of buying people from a caravan. <laughs> Which sounds really bad, doesn't it? Um, yes, Anna, this game is kind of bad, okay. Um, so yeah, we're just building a bit of a collection of fuendos here. Because, you know, when you get people like this, it's kind of low-level people, they tend to die pretty quickly. Um, and we haven't got any armor for them yet. So, yeah, I'm just having a good old time here. This is the tutorial channel for how not to play Conan. It works just to do whatever Anna's doing. Is Do whatever Anna is not doing. Okay, okay, unmods immediately. <laughs> Bless you. Yeah, we're just kind of like running in and out of here and farming people a bit. Um, yeah, maybe I'll take my... Um, blood crystals up to Mecha Moses and see how much, see what I can get for them. Maybe I can buy something. Okay. Yes. We've been exploring the journey system quite a lot, which is a lot of fun. Um, I don't quite like the fact that it's, it's sort of um, prescriptive about the order that you do things, and it doesn't seem to remember you know, remember stuff that you've done in terms of like, um, if you decide to follow one another journey, um, sorcerer's back. Oh God, can I just fight one of you? This is good. Oh God, I accidentally tried to throw that then. I think I did throw it. Okay, these are blunted javelins, which are really good early game. Oh look, freaking doddle. There you go. The satisfaction when you do it like legitimately instead of just buying them is just so much better. Uh, you really like the journey steps now? I think it's I think it's more gamified, isn't it? I think it is more fun, definitely. I really want to complete the whole, like all the, the whole journey because I've never done that before. And I think it will be kind of fun to do now that they've changed the journey system. This. They are lost, you just give them a re-education and convincing to give them a new purpose and they gratefully help you afterwards. Absolutely, so. Absolutely. <laughs> Seems like the Barbarian Barber mod updated now won't let folks connect to the server. I was able to connect by using the continue button on the launcher. So have other people tried to do that? Do you need me to restart the server? Um... I can do that, given that we're on like, um, it, it's a very quick thing to do. So it can, right, okay, tell everybody to get off. <laughs> can you do me a favour? Can you post in the Conan channel, five minute warning, I'll restart the server, and then at 9.25 here, at 25 minutes past the hour, I'll restart the server. How's that? Happy? Everyone go away. Hello, Niche. Let's try and get one of these people now that we're kind of like... We know our strength. This guy... Can I thrall him? Wait, this person is not taking a lot of, like, torpor damage. Can I kill one or both of them? I want to kill him and see if he gives me anything. Oh, God. Frickin' heck. 
That's a lot of damage. I don't wish to fight you. <laughs> you look, you, I love your clothing. It's very cool. Okay. Oh, you stupid woman. Oh, I have to sound like the guy from a lower low, don't I? We're going to have to go get some more aloe. Let's do that next. Um, oh, I've got 47 obelisks. Okay, stay focused, Anna. Stay focused. If we get 50, we can get a fighter or um, a worker. I'll let chat decide if we get a fighter or a worker. Do you want to do a pole, Kel? Ooh, hello. Or somebody. Fighter. Do we buy a fighter or a worker with our 50 obelisks? Um. Hey, you know they're charging you, charging you double. Hello, hello. Is the new terrain set in the shop? I haven't looked yet. We were. It's one of the things I want to do today is look in the shop in the bazaar. We haven't done it yet. Da -da. Da -da -da. I'm so happy to be back in Exadlands. Hello, Stakovic. Fighter. Do I have a mod you can do a poll? I know Stobbard's busy currently warning people. Ba -da. Ba -da -da. Squeaky. Hello, fluffy cat. What's wrong with you? Do you want to go out? Hmm? Have I had my five minutes? Do you want to go out? Or you just want my attention? You have a means to communicate with me. Really? She's like walking past my legs. What is it, Fluff? Do you want to go out? Yeah. Oh, she's so freaking cute. Oh, I tell her always, like, stop stealing all the cuteness from the other cats. It's not fair. Ooh, sorceress spell page. Nice. Okay, that's good. This is a great camp. I love it. Um, hmm. Well, I want to get one more sorcerer because we're so close to 50 obelisks. Um, and then I also want to go and like see what I can buy with my crystals. You want to? Uh, she wants to go out. She's now meowing. Okay, hold on, kitty. All right, love. Hold on a sec. doing that Kel I appreciate you um thank you Starbird thank you thank you when I was posted in discord only other only one other of, on the server besides myself they didn't respond to the alert okay uh you will need to update the bobber mod yeah yeah um um How do you kill something by falling on its head? Mm -hmm. The elephant thingy. Um, I've only I did it in single player with a friend or co-op with a friend. Basically, you make you have to be over encumbered and stand on a head, stand on the head of another player, and kill them. Yep. I don't know if you. I presume you can do it on a server. You just need someone to cooperate with you, really. Um, and single player is probably better. Cookies, cookies. Who needs fighters when you can have cookies with your favourite dancer thrill? Should be good. All right, lovely. Let's make sure we're in a safe place. And I'll just, <gasps> I'll just restart the server. Ba -da. Ba -da. Conan Exiles. Um, server of Turd Wallets. Ooh, there's a temporary issue. Wait a few minutes and try again if this exists. Could contact your support team. Uh, 
I'm getting an error. Error code 12044. Squirrel. I can't access my web interface for the server for some reason. Uh, that's weird. Let me raise a ticket. Uh, hold on. I'll be very quick. This stuff doesn't take very long. Uh, server provider. Ticket. Um, support. Okay. Ticket. Ticket limit reached. Okay, unable to access web interface for our server. Can you help, please? Okay, I've raised a thingy with Nitrado. We'll see what happens. All right, so for the meantime, um, there's nothing I can do. Um, let's hear it for the cookies. So yeah, um, I will check back uh, in a few minutes. Um, but yeah, I currently can't access the web interface to restart it. Cookie, what would it be? Cookies, you are. Fighter worker, cookies. Calendras, you're so naughty. Fighter was one, okay. <laughs> you're naughty mom. <laughs> Calendras corner, no cookies, that's it. Definitely. Um... Thank you, Kel. Send yourself to the corner. Can I kill this guy? Does he give me anything? So if I if I kill him first, then he'll make it. It'll be easier for me to knock this person out, won't it? Does he drop anything? No. It's just harder to kill because he's a he's a pokey pokey person. All right, because I want to knock this person out and get the. They come with a really good weapon. Equivalent to a star metal sword, I think, isn't it? There we go. No one's gonna stick up for you now, friend. They hit so hard. Oh god. And now the real challenge. I have barely any armor, and they the Lemurian sword that they come with. It's, it does exactly, it's pretty much exactly the same, I think, as a star metal short sword. Which is really good. If you thrall them, you end up with a really good sword. And quite often you'll find one of them, like, alone. Some camps. Just try not to get hit too many times. Do you know what I mean, chat? Forehead. Ba -da 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 -da. Uh, it helps if you hum to them, obviously. This is what I like. I like the challenge. Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna want to get a Delincia. We'll 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 get a fighter because chat has spoken. And um, if only for the memes, because it might be if it's another Varp near. I'm uninstalling this game. <laughs> um. Cookies means resource packs. Uh, yeah, no problem. We'll click. We'll um. We'll see what happens. I'll try again, just clicking on it soon and see if that helps. Um, you can see on Anna's armor, she does in fact not have a lot of armor on this. <laughs> Normally, I'm heavily armored, and it's very clear to see. Definitely, don't know what you're talking about. There we go, Kitan Exile Fuendo. First. Visual inspection. Nice. Um, there we go. Look, Lemurian sword. 47 damage. 8% umpen. It's so good. It's like a freaking star metal sword, isn't it? Vapnir RNG is sky high. Yeah, definitely. Wapnir. She reminds me of the fighter you fight up north walking around in the swampy area with a two-handed sword. The 
swampy area with the two-handed sword. Hmm. The swampy area. You mean the swamp? 3.6 thousand health. Oh, Varpnir. Yeah. This is so good. I don't really want to use it yet. I'm going to put her somewhere safe because she's like precious and stuff. Let's have like a big gaggle of people. That's the collective noun for thralls is a gaggle. I don't know if you realise that. Uh, we could do with putting our steel fire in our, our chemical base away. Da -da. Ba -da. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, I really want to get that 50. Um, we haven't got anything that gives us like concussive damage, do we? we we've got the... I've been knocking people out without using my hyena fur gloves. Um, I think heart is it hearty feast gives you concussive damage. We've had one thing we've just picked up. All right, let's get back to it. You mean the berserker? Is that what you mean? You mean the berserker? You mean the Sumerian berserker? Yeah, she does look a bit like a Sumerian berserker actually. XP, I'm too tired to see. Yeah, yeah. Um, let me just click on the interface again. See if it works. Come on. Nope. Something's not working. And let me just check if they've replied yet. Ba -bum. Ba -da -dum. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, it's still having an issue. And, um... Look, where's this... Oh, look at it. It's so pretty. Uh, yeah, so I still can't access the web interface and, um... And I haven't had a response yet. I'm looking to see if that bearer has armor on. Because if they have armor, like mine, they're named... No, there's just rags. Alright, let's do our round. See if we can get one more sorcerer. And then see what we get for our 50 obelisks. Hello, freak of nature. What did you call me? I'll have you know I'm incredibly normal. Everyone says to me, you're just so boring and normal. It's actually why my wife left me. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me, chat. Stop asking. Okay, do we have a tier one blacksmith? We'll kill him. Uh, Samuel, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you for using your prime here. Much appreciated. Thank you so much for the support. Anyone here wants to join the Discord, by the way, you don't have to be a subscriber. I just always mention it these times because it's a good reminder for me. There's a link in the chat. If you want to join our Code Next Soul server, there's kind of really, like, it needs a restart at the moment because of all the mods uh, being updated and stuff. Um, but yeah, you can look at the details in the Code Next Soul's channel. At the, look at the pin messages. There you go. It's modded the same as this game. Lightly. Quality of life. That's it. What do we got? A sorcerer. And there's the bearer. And there's a guy sitting here. Ba -da -da -da. Oh, there's another sorcerer. Squirrel. In fact, that is the sorcerer. The other guys are... F oh, no, they're both sorcerers. Excuse me, sir. Can I get your attention, please? Excuse me? Huh? Okay. Tier one. Good. He's going to knock out quickly. Let's do it fast. Oh god, instead of pressing Alt, I press my Windows key. Q, press Q, press Q. Oh no! No, 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 no. Oh my god! My life flashed before my eyes, chat. <laughs> it's so scary! Uh, listen. I don't want to fight you. I could do with maybe just killing her. You picked the wrong fight. Gods take you. Yeah, she nearly did. Let's kill her. Just doing left clicks. There we go. Let's take the bearer pack. Right, sir. You and me, let's tango. I don't know if I like Tango. I was more of a fox truck. 
I think I've had some sugar or something. I don't know. <laughs> Is that sugar and caffeine again she's been on? I don't, who needs drugs, chat, seriously, <laughs> when there's coffee? Oh, the rock nose is back! The rock nose is back! Right, let's go get that iron mace and let's go kill him. He just surprised Mother Hubbard out of the ground. I'm already on the Discord and server. Nice! I just always mention it these times. Figured I'd support since I was watching the YouTube videos. I appreciate that so much. Thank you for that. Makes a big difference. Even the continue button from the launch didn't work. I must have connected just before the mod updated on my side. I don't know why the, uh, the web interface isn't working. But I'll check back periodically and see what the sitch is. There we go, sir. I'd just like to pop you in the cage. Okay. <gasps> Should we go and kill Rocknose Window first? Just for like a bit of a dramatic... Oh, God. I only have one... I only have one aloe potion. Do I have any more? Hmm. Hmm. Squirrel. Oh, I got loads of aloe. Nice. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Bum, bum. What do we get in the supply materials? Wood. Fine. Nice one. Let's repair our javelin while we're here. While we remember. I think I haven't relearned that. Let's relearn the axe. Uh, have I learned the poignards again? Poignards, poignards, poignards. Yes, I have. So I should be able to repair those. Balanced. What? Balanced iron poignards. Squirrel. What? Did I just did I learn, learn them through a journey step? That is a new thing. Iron poignards. Balanced time ponies, so do more damage. Did we learn that through a journey step chat? I'm confused. I mean, they do a bit more damage, so fine. Um, repair. So we're going to take the mace, I think, from our. From. Mm, we could take this. Um, I think we're going to take the mace or a hammer, maybe? Uh, stone, stone, stone. Um, hmm. Can I make a, a hammer? Probably don't have enough um, materials. We've got stone maul. Uh, ancient war hammer. Iron war hammer. Forty-five iron. I don't have forty-five iron ready right now. Could get it, but I'm pretty impatient as a human. And we killed him before. With the, we'll, just, we'll just use the iron mace, I think. <clears throat> Sent to be dead. Do you like it? Did, did you get it? Yes, I know it wasn't very opaque. Okay, thanks. Uh, Bearer is the one that had the mace. Um, haven't got a nun from there, so I doubt it. Can you get a named bearer from the caravans? Would be nice. It, that would be amazing. But wouldn't that steal like? So it's a bit like right. Whenever I used to play on a PVE server, which I used to official, I'd be on the server for a while, and um. I'd be on the server for a while and um, and I would end up with like a collection of spare crafters and like tools and equipment and like mats. Like eventually you have loads of stuff. If you gave people a full set of tools and like crafters and fighters and things, there was nothing left to do in the game. I mean, there was obviously dungeons and stuff, but you know, you steal a lot of like the gameplay away. Um, so I want to use the caravans a bit. Oh my god, that scared me. I don't know why. Um, let's let them fight each other. Is he going to fight me? Stay and fight the elephant. It's fine. Right, we're going to go... 
trying to fight this rock nose window. Is he coming to get me? want to fight each other like the elephant situation before nope 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 fight each other he said you smell <laughs> he said your blood crystals were weird <laughs> he says he thought normal rhinos were better okay oh, we still have the stone mall actually which did loads of damage to him before well 15 or whatever 17 damage 40 armor pen Maybe we'd use the stone mall. Especially while we have a third party. Let's make some more aloe. Um, I know on your keyboard you have four buttons up above F1, F4. Click on number three. Does it turns off the Windows key? Ah, uh, thank you, lovely. See, this is what helped. This is, like, Kel literally got that keyboard just to help me with that. That's why he got that keyboard. It's like part of his contract. <laughs> He's got to have like a mock-up of my exact setup so that he can offer like specific advice. Thanks, love. <laughs> Cannot get a bearer from using turning obelisk coins. Yeah, it's such a shame. Okay. Double team. I should make it an, a war hammer. I love. I'd love to get. Like we'll have to get a hammer. I'm just helping the, the elephant do his job now. Yeah, we'll kill this guy. We'll turn in our obelisk, and we're going to go up and turn in our crystals from him. This is so good. We're right by where an, one of these guys spawns, which I guess makes sense considering Mech Kamosis is nearby. Keep that sunder going. There we go. One more. Okay. 24,000 XP. And he's not that hard to kill, really, is he? Switch to daggers for the elephant. It's a pretty good game loop we have here. <laughs> it's just like, let me just nudge him out of the way. Get around the back. I really want to get my Baltior's lodestone back because it weighs nothing and it's just really good for sundering in a fight. I'm really happy though, chat, like to give you my thoughts about like this current this update because there's a lot that feels kind of different and new and you know that's to discover i like that we still haven't done the dungeon and you know we've got the whole journey to do i'm going to try and do all the journey steps on this playthrough for once We're just staying out of his aoe stuck in the stuck in the bleed I could also um I could also use my the maul to like sunder him as well, but bleed goes very quickly now. Um because they but they what's the word? Nerfed it quite a lot after Sipta came out. Because so many things on Sipta have bled you. Like the Grey Ones weapons and things. So bleed goes very quickly. So I want to just keep it stacked going. There we go. There you go. He'll die from his injuries now. Nice. Let's get this guy first. Oh, I don't have my pick. Oh no. Poopies. 
Uh, do I have my... Oh, God. Like, you guys stay right there. You stay right there. Can't believe I didn't bring my kit, my pick. Um, I am... We, we kind of been switching between journeys, but something was buggy with the tannery one. So I'm just kind of, like, just getting on with things for a bit, really. That's why I got it? Yeah, I see. I knew it. You're like, well, I'm going to have to buy this keyboard now. If you could just get, like, any, like, high, like, decent stuff that I get, you just have to get it, Kel, for yourself as well. It's like, I know you you hate that excuse to buy it for you. I mean, like, reason. <laughs> um, I'm also super excited with this being end of end of age. Well, yet to, I'm super excited about the next age. I have no idea. Right, chat predictions. What do you think the next age is going to be? Because I'm, like, I'm at a loss, honestly. What is it going to be? Let's empty some stuff out. All right. Because we... Oh, we need, like, weights, don't we? Hold on. Listen, can I borrow that? Excuse me, that's my head. Okay. Let's eat the... Uh, do we have a lasting feast? We do. Um, I can also use this. Okay. I don't like to wear this very often. Um, but I do like to carry around a bearer pack with a weight reduction kit in my inventory. So if I'm ever, like, in a pinch, as well as, like, Lasting Feast is pretty good. And you can loot that from enemies. The Age of Cats. I really want, like, um, shipbuilding. Age of shipbuilding or something. That'd be cool. I really want boats, but I want them mainly for, because of Sipter. I think that'd be super cool. They better be here. Yeah. Let's get our loot. Okay, so hammer is really good because of the armor pen against the blood dudes. We've got another 22, so we've got 44 blood crystal with an iron pick with no tool upgrade on it. And we don't have any points in expertise. We don't have twice as likely to gather rare resources. I wonder if it's capped at 22, I don't know. Let's harvest all these things. That elephant has been just destroying this neighbourhood. I'm going to need this stuff. Hi, sir. I'm not, I don't want to fight him, really. But I, I guess I want to gather all this stuff. Hi. You run that way, I'll run this way. Perfect. We are going to need some steaks, so I should probably be using a cleaver, really. I'll just be a moment. If you could just, just bear with. Just sorry about your toes. Just a little bit off the edges. Could you? I'm just trying to harvest this cat. Thank you. Appreciate you. Listen, I don't wish to fight you. I'm a peaceful lady. Let's go. Seafaring age. Oh yes. Noah's Ark. The age of thralls when they start hunting and bludgeoning players to <laughs> enslave them. Oh my goodness. 44 so close. 44 what? Oh, I see the two. Oh god, of course. Of course. Yeah. 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 Um, Spartacus Uprising in my team. Uh, once you come outside the green trimmer wall at the end of this age, the rest of the world has changed into a big desert with spice worms and you awaken in a world now called June. I'm very excited for June, I have to say. I do wish there were going to be different biomes because I do like a bit of I like the desert, but I feel I wonder if it might be a bit samey. Yeah. Also, I hope they give me a key if you're listening. Can I have a key, please, Frank? Thanks very much. There you go. <laughs> uh, age of an early night from running around all day. The age of pipe and slippers and a cozy fire. Okay, no pipe smoking's bad. Okay. Oh gosh. Right. It, it's time to find out what we're going to get. Let's also get our crystal from here. Oh, we did have 24 last time. 46 we've got. Um, let's take off the bearer pack. Ba -dum. Doo -doo. Okay. All right. 58 obelisks. Yes, I climbed over the door oh. instead of using the door. Don't question me. <laughs> um, oh, we need to get some water as well. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Okay, 
V. Is it going to be V for Varpnir when we get the combat in? Or D for Delincia or equivalent? Put your votes in now. I want to hear your bets. Q. Knefador. <laughs> v. <laughs> v. <laughs> Varpnir or equivalent? Or D for Delincia? So many so far. Most people. C for cookies. Listen, there's no Q and there's no C. <laughs> What is M for? Oh, Twitch chat. So naughty. Um, desert, urban, space if they allow us to, s to the spaceport. The spice must flow. Arrakis has underground stuff, so there's, there'll be subterranean stuff for sure. Well, that's exciting. I'm definitely going to play that game. But you love us. I do love you all. J, Starbank, behave yourself. I will have order. Marcos. Ooh, Marcos. Age of the Gods, a god system rework. Hmm. More involved play tasks and missions with blessing and religions. I think reworking religion would be really good. Definitely. Give us more of a reason to use it. Okay. Although I do sleep on religion a little bit in this game now. Oh, God. It's better. Oh, God. Axe of the Lion will get you after. Sickle. Eh, whatever. The, the sickles and stuff, the blackbird tools, I want to get from the bat caves. Uh, supply materials for five ob obelisks. Okay. We're going for a combatant. Have you gotten the sorcerer's skull? I, I don't even want to look. I don't want to look. It better be Delincio chat or I'm uninstalling the game. <laughs> Check out Pax Day going to be easy. I've seen that one actually. Yeah. Age of the Beasts would be neat as well. Let us mantle the animals like Bear Shaman, Priests of Set, Herald of Sotil would be neat. But I'm a big Age of Conan it. Ah. Okay. Well, what is it? It's Janos. Hmm. Or Janos. <sighs> cool. I mean, Janos isn't bad. Viking ready. All right. Let's go and get our... Um, Let's go and get something from the old Mex shop. Mex local 7-Eleven. Let's put Janos behind here. J for Janos. It's too late to vote. It's too late to vote. Age of the Old Ones, Cthulhu and Dagon Rise. As long as there's more dungeons. I'd love a new dungeon on a regular basis. If you picked Crom, you might feel left out of that one. Crom is like an absentee father. Yeah. Truth. Oh, da, da. oh stop, bank! Oh my goodness! Thank you so much for five tier one gifted subs. That's very generous of you. Um, Gerard, Bastion, Mars, uh, JJ, Thrax. Enjoy your gifted subs. Thank you so much. That's very kind of you. Thank you, thank you. If anyone here isn't in our Discord, you don't have to be a subscriber. I just always mention at these times. There's a link in the chat. If you want to join our Conan Exiles server, there's a link in that chat to the Discord. Go to the Conan Exiles channel, look at the pin messages. Although the server is kind of experiencing some issues at the moment, I think. Let me just double check. Let's refresh. Thank you so much, Sabang. That's very nice of you. Oh, it's working. I'm back on the old web interface. All right, I'm going to restart the server. Um, wait, let me shut it down. Stop server. Stop. Okay. That can... We can, like, have that. It, it'll take a little while to shut down, and then I'll check the mod installs, and then we'll restart it. Okay. Let me get my OBS open. Age of Footloose. All the dancing emotes. Don't you get that song stuck in my head. It's not Delincia, but it's close enough. I mean, he is good, isn't he? But I don't think his health is going to be that good. And I really want the HP. Do you know what I want the age of? I want bearers to be god tier again. That's what I want. That's all I want, chat in life. I want the days where I had a bearer that had 8,000 health. I could take them everywhere. They like carried all, oh, I don't have any water. They carried all my things around. Uh, what is this, spiced? Will that fill my water a bit? There you go. They carried all your stuff around. You could do dungeons and things. I can hear the guitar, stop it, Garvin, stop it. 
ten thousand health. Yeah, the age of horses. Yeah, if they had bards and the ability to dance yourself to remove corruption, I would hundred percent be about that. Hmm. I see. I see. Hydrate. Okay. Listen. <laughs> it's an in, it's an IRL hydrate that you get for that. I know. For my NPC, you don't get to you don't get to choose that that hydrate redeem is for me. <laughs> I need water too, Kel. I need water. Okay. Um. Oh, that man just sat down on the ground. All right. So we we've come up here. We got forty six blood crystals to spend. Oh, I know I'm I know I'm thirsty. Um. Let's have a quick look around everywhere. We might need to make some quick decisions. L's drinker, don't care. I think that's a sword, a short, a uh, one-handed sword. Obelisk, uh, sorry, supply materials. Listen, that lady's still complaining. Slaver, combatant. War spit, get out of here. Pokey stick, nah. That was war spear of the black circle. So maybe nothing so far. Somebody over here. What have you got for me, son? Hmm. Oh, he's a fighter. <laughs> I don't have anything for you, lady. Okay. Fighters. These are fighters. Oh, merchant, merchant, merchant. Grand Ophidian Magi Cash for a severed head of... Cor okay, so I guess I have to do the dungeon. Oh, Magi Cash. Ophidian Magi's Cash. I don't know what that is. Is that random shiznits? These are going to be fighters? I'm nowhere near you! <laughs> Black blood pick. Where's... Oh, I don't have any obelisks. I don't want that. I want to get it from the birds. The bat bird bit bitches. <clears throat> I don't want to cheat. It's like such an important phase of the game. Otherwise, you know, it's the crumb stored. I th well, I haven't heard anything actually about it. I'm assuming it's still nerfed into the ground. I don't. Is there anything we want? This guy wants two hundred blood crystals. I suspect an interesting and love, winding road has I love the voice today. they've given him. It's I hilarious. <laughs> um, Mac just wants to tell us stories. Can we free that lady? No. May demons tickle your innards. May your mouth fill with... I didn't even see that. Supply materials. We could get a lot of supply materials. Elf Drinker is a one-handed sword, which would be good for our thralls, but that's obelisks. Uh, okay, so wait, I'm thinking about this. So... Okay, so I can't buy anything from these people. It's obelisks they want. Um, and yeah, I'm just derping out here. Obelisk. Okay, so maybe we buy that Ophidian, Ophidian thing. They they want to sell me. That person on the right can sell me something. I was just derping out, but this guy's once Obelisk. No, oh, he's a fighter. I can click on him every time because squirrel. Okay, let's have a look at what this guy wants. Ophidian Magi's cash. It's a box. Uh, am I going to be ever encumbered? Use. Obelisk. Interesting. You must drink soon. I'm fine. Let's drink some bone broth. This woman is driving me crazy. 15 obelisks. Okay, well, let's turn it in. How much did we get? Nine obelisks. Six obelisks. We got thirty obelisks. Mm, interesting. And you want someone's head. So we need to go to the dungeon, I think, for that. Oh, this one as well, we could go through here. Which I guess takes us to the dungeon, right? Um thirty crystal. We can uh we can get the crystal from killing that rock nose. It's kinda cool. I feel like there's also a way to like find the crystals on the map or summon things. Um, but I think maybe we need to do sorcery for that, presumably. 
there's a new improved dismantling bench. Um, just it just stamina drainage. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, the update is brilliant. I'm really excited about it. Um, don't drink water. Fish is pee in it. Listen, I don't know what the water's like where you live, but it's very well treated after the fish pee in it here, mostly. Oh god. <gasps> okay. Well, was there anything I wanted up there from the obelisk? What do I want to do now? Should we have a look at the, the bazaar and the um, and the battle pass? The server will have restarted now. Let me um, let me have a quick look at the mods. Da, 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 da. Be hello as if the head of Karak was the head of the merchant standing next to him. He really doesn't like that guy. Uh. Da, da. That would be funny. We've got so many fighters already. Right, let me have a quick look at this situation. Um, mods and workshop. Uh, Barbarian Barber update. Okay. Save changes. Da -da. Right, so that's so if I start the server up, start in the server, everything should update. Okay. Fingers crossed. Sorcery is that a god of Ramsey thing? Definitely. Okay, we have thirty obelisks. What do we do now? Hmm. We've got some mats we can put in here. But um, but um, I could get supply materials. Um, should we do that? Should we bring our bearer? Bum, bum, but what we need is armor for our friendos. Uh, we have a Janos actually, two thousand health, hardened steel sword. Um, ideally, we want to give him the sword from the Kitan person. Um, this one here, because this does 47 damage and 8 armor pen. Which is way better than his. It's kind of cheaty, honestly, thralling those people. And he has a shield, but I don't like the shields. So I need to get this guy, like, armored up, basically. Oh, stone things... Um, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, we're gonna look at the battle pass, won't we? Um, I got some attributes to spend. Let's put them into strength, I guess. I haven't bought the battle pass yet. I'm holding off for reasons, just for now. But I will get it. Battle pass rewards unlocked. Okay. Right, let's go to the beginning. Let's have a look at this. All right, let's have a look. Um, Turanian Nomad armor. Uh, it's kind of nice. Um, I guess so normally, because whenever you've dyed the armor, I love those boots, whenever you've dyed your armor, um, you see the armor here dyed already. So that's kind of nice. It's kind of... I don't know how. I don't know if I want to wear it. Maybe it's nicer on the dudes. We've got some more um, floor paint. I, I've been enjoying floor paints and stuff, especially when you have like a darker building. Um, creepy bear is horrific. <clears throat> what do you think Anna passes out from this? Oh, we need to drink. Bugger. All right, chat. Let's get some water. <laughs> Um, wait, we have water. There's a pond over here. All right, all right, all right. We'll get some um, supply materials on the way back. <laughs> I would like totally would have remembered to drink, definitely. <laughs> the physics is flowy. Yeah, it is nice physics on that armor. I think um, there's a bunch of Turanian stuff, or stuff to kind of add on to the Turanian 
uh, building pieces in this, um, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to build in the desert. I did think, oh, let's build in a different type of biome. But one, I just like to be somewhere warm <laughs> in this game, um, especially in the winter when it still feels like winter here. Um, fill up the waters. Okay. And, um, and two, because I really want to build like, you know, the, it's very deserty sort of, sort of stuff in the update. We've just aggroed an archer, it's fine. Let's get some, shall I waste it on supply materials? It's never a waste at this point. Take that back and let's have a look at the bazaar in the battle pass. Um, I like the atmospheric changes they made to the sky. It's beautiful, isn't it? Do you mean the um, the eclipse? Have they made more changes? Oh, look at it in the daytime. It's very cool. Have they changed the sky generally? Da -da -da -da. Are there events in this? Uh, you mean ambiance. <laughs> that is from Mickey Flanagan, if anybody doesn't know. Ambiance. That's when I say that. Turan got a lot of love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, let's see what's in our supply materials, and then we'll have a look at the part pass. 500 steel, 500 tar. Uh, 500, uh, 750 iron and tar. Uh, 1,000 iron bars. 1,000 <laughs> steel bars? Uh, 500 iron uh, berry bush seeds, seeds and 750 tar and 500 iron and highland berry bush seeds. Holy potatoes. That is going to reduce the grind, definitely. Let's put the metal in here. <laughs> That's just crazy. So normally, so one of the things is normally um, you would have to get a lot of like leather, tan a lot of it to get a lot of tar. Um, so you would end up with loads and loads of leather, like boxes and boxes of leather. Um, so you will find that you need a lot more leather like later on that you would normally have. I'm just going to store it in here for now. Oh, I don't have a grindy thing yet. Let's put that in there. Let's put the uh, gold in the furnace. Okay, battle pass time. I mean, that was kind of OP, really, what we just got. Oh, okay, so nice Terranian armour. Probably better on a dude. Not particularly interesting on a female, maybe. Floor paints, always nice. This one is pretty cool. I think there are armor stands in some of the mods. Um, I don't know which mods, um, given that I used to play on console. Um, but this is going to be free to everybody, so uh, regardless of whether you've bought the Battle Pass or not, the free things are just free to everybody if you get to that le level of XP. Um, so that's cool. Um, I don't know if there's like a dude version of it, actually. Hmm. Uh, coins you get along the way to if you don't spend the coins if you buy one of the battle passes uh, you end up with enough coins to get the next one basically uh, and the next one and next one you complain about steel or iron for that hammer yeah I know uh, most deserty thing would be to build up a Bedouin camp mmm it does seem to look different mmm yeah wouldn't it be nice if you could sell your excess for gold and silver in a city like pennies yeah i think there is there's a mod that i saw on steam yesterday um which expands sep and maru i don't know how popular it is or whatever i would like sep and maru to have more kind of i want to be able to go in the buildings and things i don't know i feel like they could do more with the market as well the market's not great this is like how the market should have been you know in sep you can buy things in sep yeah but they're not very good Mystery meat soup is good. Uh, glass flasks is good. You can buy some spiced fowl um, and maybe some like spiced wine or something like that, I think. Um, but otherwise, it's it's pretty boring. Mystery meat soup is good because it gives you 60 health. You can buy like tiny bits of um, hide and things. Um, anyway. Oh, uh, this is really cute. A little beehive. Um, a mall fashioned from blood crystal. I'm assuming it's just aesthetics and that you don't craft it with blood crystal. I don't know, because it's in the battle pass. I don't know. 
Um, I like that they've got these like specialized containers, different types of storage. I'm very excited to see what these look like. Um, yeah, they've got they've done the same again, given us like potions instead of having to use your spells, then you can just drink these things. Uh, you can buy things in Suffering with God and so on. You can, but it's just junk. It's mostly junk, yeah, definitely. Um, a nice shield. Yeah, it's beautiful. It'll look beautiful on the wall. Um, I'll have to make one of those. Um, floor stuff. Tame pack camel. I think this is just decorative. I'm assuming it doesn't change anything because um, you can already throw, you can buy camels from the, uh, the den. From one of the vendors around the den. There is also the den actually that has sh uh, shop stuff, which is animals and things. And Buccaneer Bay, you can buy animals as well. Um, but I'm assuming this is just aesthetics, but it looks very nice, I have to say. Um, tame bear that has been exposed to corruption. Just a, a reskin for a bear. Cool, kind of scary. I don't know if I want to make that. Um, I guess in the PvP setting, you might want like, I don't know, the appearance of it. Maybe can you taxi Demi as well? I don't know. Um, more designs, slow clap. I feel like I will use that. You know what I mean? I like the expression on the face that goes with it. More coins, detect resources. So just more like uh, spells in a bottle. Uh, workbench for building golem parts. I'm assuming that this mechanic exists in the game, but that there's a bench um, to do it in here. I don't know. Um, one of my favourite mods is Sexy Silent Legion Armour. I use it on my single playthrough. It's black. It's black leather armour. Is it? Is it? If it's t if it's like SFW, could you put a picture in the Discord? Um, be nice if they could revamp their merchants to sell better things. Mm, definitely. It's just an alternative bench. Okay. Is it like smaller or something? Maybe it looks very nice. Okay. Um, if this is just a bedroll um, that is like the the crappy bedroll that you make with the uh, hide that you can make on the go but it just looks like this I'm very excited about that because this looks really cute um, more floor symbols I guess golem parts okay so if you wanted to like make a, a golem making uh, workshop or something um, specialised uh, resource container for raw ores. Very excited for this. Looks really nice. I don't know if you can put other things in it. Can you only store ores? And this is free as well, which is good. Coins. Terranian wall paint. With some horses on it. Um, what is this called? Daketo. Aha, uh -huh, Daketo armour. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about it. I definitely wouldn't use the head. Um... I don't know. I kind of want to be able to see it on both males and females. Um, but, you know, it's different. We've had a lot of things like this with, like, teeth on them and stuff like that. Um, it's nice armour. New chests. I'm so hyped. Yeah. It's like a Japanese tatami mat. It's very cute, isn't it? I hope it is just one you can craft in your inventory um, on the go. This is beautiful. Really, really, really nice. Oh, it's got horses on the ends. It's got little horse heads. I don't know what this is here. This is beautiful. Uh, Potion of invisibility. Cool. I find the I find, find the arcane stuff to be very slow, and I try. I just end up not using the spells and stuff. So I think having drafts of it is good. We can't. Can we make these in the game? Can we craft these? Because I feel like I just want to drink a potion that gives me spells. Good, Blyker. Thank you for letting me know. That's good. I wish we could make those potions. Yeah, definitely. Especially because I always claim them on one character. And I kind of wish I could use them on a different character. You know what I mean? I mean, you can claim them. You can choose where you claim them, I guess. Someone play the, <laughs> the horse's sound. Um, yeah. Fan bear emote is really nice. That's going to be really nice. If you have like a throne... And you put like a couple of thralls and you give them that emote. I'm going to really like that. Snowfall is hard to cast. When you're falling, yeah, you've got to do it beforehand. Definitely. Yeah. Things you can do, use like more reactively. Why, what's happened with the, what's happened with the horses? 
um, yeah, very excited about that. Like two of those either side of your like throne, very cool. The RPers must love that. I'm sure they'll be happy about that if they don't already have something like it from a mod. Uh, more symbols for the floor, very happy about those. An iron dog, this is super cool. It is basically, I guess, a dog pet. Um, I don't know what it replaces. I want, oh, I, I, presumably it will replace the stats of something similar. Um, is it a hyena, maybe, from the shape of the head? Is it the hyena that's been reskinned? Because it's kind of beautiful. It is a golem, but I'm assuming um, because it's in the, what's it called, the battle pass. Um, I'm assuming that it's just a reskinned, like, um, hyena? Does that make sense? Construct, yeah. K9 from Doctor Who, Conan Edition, yeah. It looks really cool. I would probably want one of those. Alright, another nice artistic wool thingy. Another another box. Specialized resource container for raw heights. Very like very nice. I'm very happy. We've had the same containers for ages and ages. Thank you, Starbang. I'll have a look. Um coins. Uh slow fall potions. Yes. Emergency slow fall potions. Um another Turanian saddle. I'd be interested to know, oh, it's a nomad saddle. Is it, hmm, is it transmog? I want to be able to transmog uh, saddles, I think. I want, so I only ever use a scout saddles because they give you better maneuverability. This is beautiful, but I would want to be able to, I also want to dye them as well. I feel like we all want to be able to dye our horses saddles. Uh, sword from Blood Crystal. I guess it'll have the same stats as something else already in the game, but it looks really cool. Um, floor paint. Golem exclusion zone. Oh, God. It's like no Omnix. Wow, this is beautiful. Terranian scimitar. Queens. Some kind of like crafting artistry symbol for the wall. Armor inspired by Golem crafting techniques I like it with our improved quality of life mod we can change what our thrall what our like crafters and stuff are wearing that's kind of exciting um maybe like I don't know maybe we could have some thralls standing around in a golem crafting workshop with this stuff on I don't know uh Atrello. thank you for f Ah, oh, and a part to you too. Thank you for four months. Thank you so much. Thank you for using your prime here. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Oh, there's gold tools. But I couldn't spawn them. Gold tools. Oh. As in, like, in the like base game. Gold tools. I like that there's a sulk emote. I think that's going to get used a lot. Um, Elixir of Darkness, we had that before. Halt in the name of love. <laughs> Emote, I like it. It's going to be on a thumbnail coming soon, probably. Massive and ferocious armoured wolf. That looks pretty cool. Well, that's very similar to like the Gunaki stuff from the previous like battle pass, isn't it? Queens, Argosian floor paints. Uh, Guardian assembly station. So is this just a different appearance of something that's already in the game for like everybody with, that doesn't have a battle pass? This is my question. How does that work? Is it like a reskin? Um, then we've got scaffolding. Simple wood scaffolding held together with twine. Um, which is just decorative, isn't it? The appearance of scaffolding, because obviously we can just climb walls like Spider-Man. Uh, this is called Golem Exclusion Zone Wall Paint. Um, Golem craft schematics and instructional engraving depicting golem construct. This is cool looking. I love that. Um, Terranian spear. <laughs> so scary. A war cry emote. Um, floor paint. Oh, I love this. A basket. I mean, I don't know. Can you put other things in it? You, you just you can only store plants in it. I don't know. Can you put anything in it? I like it. It's decorative. Um, queens. 
animal tamer. Okay, cool. I don't know where you'd put that, to be honest. I mean, you would assume next to, like, taming pens and stuff. I don't know how you'd work that in. And then an iron slag golem. A roughly carved golem hewn from a strangely glowing iron slag material. Again, I'm assuming this is a reskin of uh, the, the golems that already exist. So make your golem look extra fancy, I'm assuming. A hamper, yeah. Looks really cool. I'd like to put the hampers, like, in the, bath in the bathroom. You know, because I have, like, the... What is it called? The bath set. That'd look really nice in there, like a hamper. Mm. Yeah, that looks really cool. Exciting. Cool. Uh, what's in the bazaar? Um, this has been in here before. This is like a return. This is cool stuff. I think Kel's got that. Um, I think the Ganaki stuff looks similar to stuff, stuff we've had before, so I guess it's rotated back in. Market set. I love this. This looks great. Fake dead emote. Kind of similar, I guess, to like lying on your back sleeping. Um, corrupted contrivances. Decorative items. Ooh, a crystal ball. Since the seven great empires of the Thurian Thur Age, Turian Age, man has peered beyond the veil of time and space. Blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Effigy talisman. Really, like, you know, the artwork is always really good, isn't it? You know, it's just whether you want, you know, you want to spend the money, I guess. At Colonian Secret Passages. This stuff looks like cool. Hidden door. Uh, hidden door carpet. And a wardrobe. I mean, it's cool. You know. Um, Disciples of Tsar. This is quite expensive. That is lovely armour. I don't know how I feel about it on a woman. As usual. Um, oh, wow kind of bright these are like colors that i like on my thrill on my character so there's two armors but they're the same but different colors hmm armor one by adeptus are uh, it's identical but different color okay so yes exactly identical but dyed differently so maybe it's just one armor but you can dye it or it just comes like this i mean i love this i would wear that definitely because i love the white and blue uh reskin daggers i like them they look really beautiful um adept of czar saddle it's it's like oh it goes with the armor oh god yeah okay cat that goes with your armor so matching stuff okay and then a czar's flame emotes you like hold out a flame in your hand grants the czar's flame emote and then czar's chill okay that's pretty cool it's very expensive though but it's a lot of stuff i guess okay cool all right that was a dig into that is that a saddle on the tiger I doubt it. I don't think so. No. I don't see, like, somewhere for you to put your feet or anything. I mean, you could, could I, I don't know, perceive it to be. It, it looks beautiful. Like, the art department does an incredible job. Like, look at this stuff. Especially because it matches. Like, all of it's freaking beautiful. Yup. Fire and ice. Frost and ice. Yeah. Yeah. I like that disciples are so it's really beautiful i like that you could get like the daggers the animal the armor and you can have you can choose between the different emotes i guess um kind of cool i hope they keep rotating old stuff in the bazaar some things i miss grabbing yes definitely I mean, we don't all have endless pots of money at all times do we to buy everything we want so yeah rotating stuff is good yeah go to your admin menu type gold you'll see the gold tools <gasps> An armor. Golden Stygian Raider. I don't know if I want to spawn them in, to be honest. Mm -hmm. 
so how did you find out about these? You just saw them in the admin or somebody reported on it. Age of beasts to add other mounts and just horses and rhinos. The age of flight, Starbird. What about flying flying mounts? You can't sp oh, you can't spawn them in. Oh, I see. Oh, because they're coming in the shop. Wait, I just spawned it in. Well, this is this, the armor. Right. So the pick you can't. So there's only a pick. Okay, I just accidentally equipped this stuff. Okay, well, we'll should we? Interesting. I've never seen this before. It's a gold version of this. Exactly the golden. It's exactly the Stygian Raider armor. Um. Hmm. Interesting. This is new in the battle pass. Mm, no. Mm -mm. Part of the journey. Looks nice. In, it does kind of look nice in gold, yeah. Yeah. Um, never tell Anna what you can't do. <laughs> get it from a journey step. Do you? Okay. Try not to tell me stuff that might spool or stuff that I might get excited about. Um, okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, what next, chat? Do we try and armor up Janos? Janos? Janus? What do we do? We need some thick hide. We do have elephant hide. We've got a bit of thick hide here. Uh, tanning, tanning, tanning. Hmm. Uh, what do we do for you, sir? I don't want to take a thrall around with me yet. I think I think what we're probably going to do is leave it here for today. I think we've done so much on this first day back in on the Exard lands. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Um, I don't know what we're going to be doing for the next three days. Normally I do Valheim Thursday, Friday, Saturday, but we might we might do another day of Conan. I don't know. 